But you know this whole cheating thing is interesting because when a man cheats, yeah, it's, he knows everything, innit? Like, he knows why he cheated, he's a dog, whatever. When a woman cheats, is yeah, but there must have been a reason. He wasn't there for a, uh, it was a, brother, you both cheated, bro. Like, I don't know why you're giving this one excuses and this one, why is one allowed excuses and one not allowed excuses? Even if the reasons for cheating are different, it's still, you still cheated. Mm. I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. What, should both be allowed to share an excuse? Or if, if you're accepting an excuse from one, accept it from the other? Yeah. Okay. But, and, and also as well, even if the excuses are not the same, they're still excuses. You still done the act. Yeah, but how many men you know have valid excuses, bro? Not to say that cheating is cool. How many women have valid excuses? Because I want, because he weren't there for you. I mean, that's he wasn't. A, he wasn't romantic. Okay, cool. But look at um, oh, allow me, man. That's I, an excuse to cheat, man. I was gonna reference Top Boy again. Well, you ain't even flipping seen it, man. It's not. It's not an excuse, man. No, I'm not saying this. It's the, just, the, no, the same way you look at it. When a woman's pregnant, yeah, and she's having your baby, you won't stress her out because you realize she's in a, a certain period of her life where. It's kind of crucial. What do you mean you want to her? As in, like, you can't expect her to do the same thing she was doing before she was pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Because... A, lot men, a lot of men cheat during that period as well. Cool. I'm not I'm not saying, like, all right, cool, I'll get back to that in a minute. But I'm saying, so if there's a dude, for example, who's working flat out, working hard at work, trying to provide, I mean, pay bills and whatever, he's in a season of his life as well that you need to be understanding as well over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you mm. can't be saying, ah, oh, but you're not just, like... I hear you communicate that to him and say you'd like to see him more, but you need to understand he's in the season of his life where he's trying to grind and get the money for the fam. Same way you're in the season of your life where you're birthing a child and you're nurturing. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, it's, they're, it's, not saying um, they're the same, but there's got to be understanding, but you can't cheat now. <coughs> That's like the guys when the woman's pregnant saying, yeah, but why is pregnant? Why can't I cheat? Brazy. No, I'm, I'm saying it's, no, not, no, an, it's, no, it's I, not an excuse. No, I only said it happens because it happens. Just, then, it's, it's just reality. That's but like a woman I, saying, it's mad. It's mad. That's, that's like a woman saying, oh, but my husband worked so hard, I hardly see him. That's not an excuse to cheat either because you can see what he's doing. He's, he, if he's like out clubbing all the time and not seeing you, then that's different because that's choice. This brother's working hard. You can't say because he's working hard. I don't yeah, it's you know a, what I'm saying? It's a, t- it's a tough one, but I, I do think we need to kind of um, kill this whole theory of 50-50. In terms of what? Relationships. It's not 50-50. But in what way, though? The capacity. <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm blessed. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we'll just cut it out. I think for me, it's... I, I um... think I'm the friend that people come to for advice as well. Because I'll yeah. just tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't really... Because you're my brother, I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'll tell you what I think you need to hear. Not even, actually, not even that. I'll just tell you what I think it is. Whether I'm on your side or not, I'm just going to tell you what it is. Yeah, because I think a lot of people struggle to view things from a standpoint of removing themselves from the situation and just looking at how the situation is and why someone may react the way they would react. I think a lot of people are centered themselves on situations that, well, it's me. Doesn't matter. This is still a disrespect, and this is why this person's acting the way they're acting. You know, sometimes some people don't like speaking to me about stuff because you're going to give them the reality. Yeah, yeah, but know. that's that's someone who wants to be sugarcoated all the time. No, but sometimes I don't think it's a sugarcoating thing. Sometimes I think it's a case of um, allow me, man. What you don't want to be held accountable? No, no. You can, for example, like I can tell you something that's happened, but I can it depends on how I tell you and what way I tell you in. So I'm saying, but for the way I tell you is just like. How it is. All right, listen, let me ask you. Know what I'm saying? That makes sense. Okay, let me give you a, a scenario. This is a potential spoiler. Oh. But I'm not gonna use but I'm not gonna use this scenario. No, man. No, I'm not I'm not gonna speak about the no, show. No, 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 no. No, no I'm no. not gonna speak about you the show. You can't do that. You can't do I can. That. You can't it's, because, because bro, the thing is I'm gonna watch it. It's a situation that plays out all the time. And in my head, I'm gonna be like, oh, it's No, but it's a situation that okay, no, okay, and okay. Just movie. make one up, man. Okay, no, no, I'll use another movie, Scarface. Do you think um, his right hand should have told him that he was dating his sister? 100%. Okay. Knowing Scarface's temperament. What's worse? You telling Scarface you're, you're, you're thinking of seeing his sister or him finding out afterwards you're beating his sister, knowing his temperament? Exactly. No, no, no. Yeah, but I still have to build up the courage to tell him. That, boy, what's what's better? I'd rather. I would. I, I would. I would have 
avoided it from like you still like the flirting bit. Yeah, I would have avoided it from time. <laughs> I would have like, said it then. Cool, I would have avoided it from time. But if I didn't, I would have said to Scarface. Yo, Tony, man, you know your sister, like, you know, I like her, you know what I'm saying? She makes my cojones you know wrong, man. <laughs> Are you fucking crazy with the fuck of my sister? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's losing it, bro. But it, but it was more, it was the more he was gaining power. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's open, bro. Oh, shit, it might be food. Hello? So Marv just ordered food, and um, we've noticed that there's this system that deliver, delivering apps, uh, food delivery apps are using where to prove that they deliver the food, they ask you to give them a code. And I'm just saying that I reckon since COVID, where they were they were able to just leave at door, <laughs> since then, I think the amount of foods has gone missing or been labelled that delivered but hasn't been delivered has gone up. So that's something that they've put in place to kind of... But the one time I ordered food, I fell asleep, man. You know, you like, I ordered them um, like a McDonald's or something. I woke up in the morning, the McDonald's bag was on my gate, bro. <laughs> <laughs> then he sat there and ate as well, just, you know? Just hanging. <laughs> oh, as in he delivered it? He right? delivered it, he just left, oh. it on the, left it on the gate, hanging. You can't, you can't eat that. Yeah, I can't eat it. I, I'm African as well, I just feel like the devil would have done something to it, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I understand during COVID, because, boy, I smashed out Uber Eats and delivery during COVID. For some reason, that lockdown just made me more lazy, boy. Mm. So delivery was getting smoked, and obviously... Bear people like we can't come to your door, don't trust it. So that leave at door, these drivers were living life, bro. <laughs> them man were doing max, them man were doing deli- maximum deliveries. What these times? Certain man were rolling with their babes, you know. You see, you see a certain man on the app, but it's a gal at the door. Yeah, they live life. Where's my phone? Them they, man, them man were, remember, think about it because people don't realize when you're delivering something, that having to wait for someone to come to the door. I'll answer the door, whatever. That may be like, that might be like four minutes, five minutes. Mm. If you do 20 deliveries, that's like what? Five deliveries. So it might be like an hour extra into your thingy, hour and a bit. So you ain't got time for that. Now, when you're just slapping, slapping a guy into the door, ding dong, leaving the thing there, they're gone. <laughs> ding dong, leaving the, the brother. So now you're maximizing your profit, bro. Yeah. When you were doing 20 deliveries before, you're doing 35 in the same time, bro. When they introduced that um, pin, pin thing, they must have been fuming. They had to adjust back to waiting three minutes for you to answer the No, door. but I thought you have to set that. Don't you set it on your phone? It just happened. I don't know if I've set it. it just... I think you've set it. Same thing with Uber. When you get Uber at night time, you can set something where you put a pin on. You know that, right? No, I don't know. Yeah, so Uber, like, after a certain time, well, my one's after a certain time. I think it's after six or seven. When the Uber driver comes to pick me up or whoever, before they go, they have to have a pin. Because remember, that sometimes that man will say, "I'm d- uh, so basically, if you're on Crapham or like Shoreditch and there's bare people there, if, you, if people ever come to your car and be like, Uber, you're like, no, move, man. You know, people, when they're drunk, they'll just walk up to any car. Yeah, yeah. So, so if I could be a guy or woman, whatever, excuse me, and then just roam around the area where there's loads of cabs or Ubers. And just say to someone, if someone says, yeah, Uber, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in. Lock the doors, I'm gone. Whereas now, you have oh, to... take, you're taking a random passenger? Random passenger. Oh. Whereas, but then, whereas now, you get into the car and there'll be a pin. So I'll be like, what's the pin? i say, what pin? Nah, nah, one sec, brother. Oh, you're saying it on on um the creepy vibes? Yeah. Oh. Well, you, what, you're you saying it's on the vibe of a man trying to get extra work? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'll talk about the creepy vibes. TV vibe still. And also, even extra work is, as a government, is un... Um, Unauthorized. Yeah. Untaxed. And you're unlicensed, yeah. Unlicensed, unlicensed driver. driver. It's not safe. It's definitely not safe. There's a lot of things that are not safe here, but... Like, I can't get... I can't go out and get, like, burst and not know how I'm getting home. Yeah, it's mental. <laughs> like, bro... It, like if, if, if for example People are living on the edge right? Bro if for example Like we, we, we got in a car for, And the car's just driving somewhere We just end up in South End That is not an excuse To get burst And be like Ah oh, it is what it is Let's go to the pub And just have a few pints No I'm staying sober Because I need to know I'm getting back home That table the time Me and Rich went to The, the wrong game The wrong football game Oh no no <laughs> <laughs> Hey Cause shout out Lloyd Kelly he plays for Bournemouth, innit? Just to the pod sometimes, innit? So we talk, innit? So I'm just like, oh, they've got um, 
Right to the Prem, innit? I'm like, oh, let me come to a couple of games. He's going, yeah, yeah, let me know what games. And then I'll sort out. But he said, there's certain games I can't get you. Like Arsenal, it's not happening. Like, oh, yeah, you yeah. might have people that want that game. It's long. But um, we're playing City on... We're playing City on Saturday. Come to the game. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man's day off. Man's day off. I think Richard was with me. Richard's like, yeah, I'm coming. I said, yeah, all right, cool, cool. Me and Rich get the train to Bournemouth now. Get the bus to Bournemouth. I said, where's the stadium? I said, the stadium. Man, get to the stadium, brother. Man, can't hear no noise. I'm like, what's... I ain't no roast. I said, what time is it? Oh, he's got your tickets to Etihad. Etihad, blood. Uh... Man went to Bournemouth. <laughs> is that what you use in Bournemouth? <laughs> You get this straight to your son. I said, why you might go for with? So random. Hey, me and Richard were fuming, <laughs> man. And that's not even close by to kind of do a U-turn. But luckily if... for us, because it was hot, we just went to Bournemouth Beach. Uh, so that was a little flex still. It was nice, it was nice. I can't lie, it was nice. But you didn't think to check? Brother, in my mind, yeah, I didn't think you would tell me to come Manny. Do you know, do you know what I'm saying? It's like, I just thought that like... Manny would have been a weekend as well. Would have been a vibe. Was it on a Saturday? Yeah, it was a Saturday. Yeah, it would have been a vibe as well. And and the, and the thing is, I think that's when City banged them like 4-0, <laughs> 4-5-0. Harlan scored two, De Buena, Foden scored. I said, ah, oh, fuming. We missed a good one. Uh, I'm going to see, I've been born with once, yeah. Never again, bro. Never again. A man said, yo, there's a raven born with, let's pull up. But like, I think four. Basically, okay, I'm going to get to this point after, yeah. Have you walked on the beach before, by the way? Bournemouth Beach. Yeah, have you no. walked on the beach? No. Brother, do you know how tiring it is? Have I walked on a beach? On a beach. Yeah, yeah, it's very tiring. Brother, me and Richard walked down the coastline and back. I said, it's done. Let's go home. Yeah, there's a lot of calf, calf muscles. Bro, my used. calf was <laughs> burning me, bro. I felt like Afronation. No, but that's it. I know it's like, ah, yeah, it's true. Actually. Walking through Afronation, brother, I'm like, shall I keep my trainers on, off? I didn't know what to do, but, but it's long, bro. It's long. Yeah, but that one did, it's weird. Affirmation didn't feel as bad as this, because maybe because I was barefoot. You know, when you're barefoot, mm. your foot's doing all this. Oh, no. so, so you've got to spread out the toes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So I've gone Bournemouth now. Um, me, I'm not gonna name, I'm not gonna say which man then, but if you see me out and about, you know probably who I was with, yeah. So five of us have gone to Bournemouth. One of the man names already in Bournemouth. He's got he's um he's got something he's got something out there. He went to go see a man about a dog, or whatever. Anyway, he stayed there. Well, and, <laughs> and then he's gone, yo, you man, there's a lip rave um pull up. So one of the men that was bored. In Bournemouth? Yeah, one of the men that was bored said, right, fuck it, I'll drive. So, all right, cool. I think he, you don't like when the man's fresh on the roads. He's on driving everywhere. Yeah. Like, fuck it. So I'm like, all right, cool, let's go. <laughs> but we drove down, got there for about, I think we got there about nine, ten. yeah? Bear in mind, this is like, we're being irresponsible. Let me just add that out. We're being very irresponsible. Why? None of us booked a hotel. Oh, okay. We just winged it down there. And the night's getting high, it's getting in it. We'll see how it goes. That kind of vibe. Cool. This is when I knew the night was getting mad, yeah? So, whoever my man that was already in Bournemouth is, is with has seen us, I think on the eve of the gram. She's, she's seen us somewhere and now it's like his um, situation is threatened. Why? Because she's basically on a vibe of, oh, your friends are hot. And he's taking it as, what, so you could leave with one of them. But I'll come for you. He's already been there. Oh, so she's on the vibe of the, the whole team can have some? Yeah, but he's oh. not He's not happy with that. But we can see by the energy. So when it's and time... She, and, and she let him know that? No, but come on, man. We're in Bournemouth. Man said, your friend's in there. No, but we're in Bournemouth, <laughs> though. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? like, uh, Liverpool. No, no, I don't know that. What? If you go to Liverpool, Manny... No, I get that, but Newcastle. I'm saying, if, if, my, if I've come down to see a babes, you cannot be telling me... Your bridges are hot. But she can say it. Impossible. What but do you mean? The, do you know what is? If, if she's the kind of girl that can say that, I'm not going to Bournemouth for her. Yeah, but I but he's just realized in the moment. This is, this is all happening in the moment. Nah, man, you got but, signed from before that. No, because he's gone there and then told us to come like two days after. He's already there. He thinks he's patting his one. He's told us to come. We're going out tonight. She's bringing friends. We're like, all right, cool, we'll pull up. And now she's like, oh, your friends are nice. But whether she's going to do anything about it or not, I don't know. But she just said it, yeah? So after this, we go to this dance, brother. The dance is dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can tell already. This is me. The... Anyway, now we're now we're thinking, yo, where are we staying? Ah, oh, let's go back to homeboys' things yard and just crash on the sofa or something. Boom, boom, boom. This guy don't want to give man the postcode. Brother, I had man stranded, but bear in mind, 
He's jumped in my brother's car. They've gone. So I'm in the other car. There's two cars. So there's four of us in one car. One's gone with the other. I'm phoning the driver. I'm like, you're my brother's brother. Run the, the postcode. Oh, I'm driving. I'm driving. It sounded all booky right now. So we're in our car. Four of us like, wait. Are these men trying to cut because they got things? So how many were there though? There's five of us that's gone up. There's one already there. But there was two cars. Yeah, but how many girls are there? I don't know at this time because he's just left with his thing and gone, I'm going to the yard. She might have girls in the yard. We don't know. So, I mean, anyway, we finally get the postcode. We go to the yard. Get in the yard now, brother. This yard is a bando. I don't care what anyone tells me. This is a bando. In my mind, I'm like to my brethren who's, he's just irresponsible. How have you not vetted this girl? You're just going to, just going to the yard. Just walk, got us walking around. Anyway, we find the living room area. There's like a couple sofas. There's like a little cushion. I grabbed the Imagine cushion. you find the little living room earlier. Area. What kind of house is this? But there was bare rooms in this yard. I'm, I'm, it's, I'm slowly deep in where, where somewhere we're not supposed to be. The icing on the cake was the girl received the phone call and thought she was bad. So she put it on loudspeaker and uh, like, asked it in front. You like when people ask it loud. Like, yeah, what are you saying? Here to you on the phone. So what, can I get the same deal as last time? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> We're all like, huh? She's like, what do you mean? She goes, listen, I'm hearing like your prices have doubled. I'm not on that. Let me just get the same deal as I got last time. Because I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, brother, you damn well sure know what he's talking about. Why is this on loudspeaker? <laughs> That's what I'm Why do you think you're so bad to put this on loudspeaker? What? Hey, he's now going, what? You know what? If I come there now, yeah, I'm paying half price. Locked off the phone. Like, Jason, what was this you on the phone? Half oh, price for cheeks. But I don't know. Oh, what's, she, oh, she's still in drugs. But I don't know what's going on. That's what I heard on the phone. Now I'm looking at Jason like, brother, why you got man here, bro? What's really, really his name, by the way? Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 I'm looking at my man like, brother, why you got man here, bro? Then the man them were like, um, do you know what? I can't lie. It's, it was, it was, I think it was a rainy day as well. Like, brother, it's warm. Let's just firm it till like 6, 7 a.m. Uh, cool, whatever. So we all just slept with like one eye open kind of thing. While we're sleeping, yeah, I'm not gonna say this brother's name. There's another white girl that's there in it, a big, a, a kind of, kind of fluffy one. What? Oh, one man's whispering in it. Hey, yo, 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 let's go to the toilet. Oh. You, see? <laughs> you know, everyone's up with one eye, like <laughs> 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 you didn't clock the man, and clocked him. They, they've gotten up now. They've gone into the toilet. He's wassing in the toilet. I'm like, brother. So we're whispering amongst ourselves, like, rah. Oh, man's like, on, yeah. <laughs> like that, you know. <laughs> and the Kevin Hart's grandma. <laughs> I was like, rah, is that what my man's on? But you know when the man's just had a long night and man's roasting? There's no such thing. The babes is there. He thought, yo, I'm going to get my leg over, boy. In quiet, come back, fall asleep, and nothing happened. I've seen, but I'm, I'm, Bear Man's done that, you know. You know, when you go out, it's like, where did you go? And I went home. Ah, gee. <laughs> you saw you leaving. <laughs> I saw you. It happens. But yeah, that's my first and um, last encounter with Bournemouth, man. In the morning, we left. And it turns out one of the men was spiked with um, MD. Because you know, like when you get there after, you start grinding your... Yeah. Yeah, one man kept doing that in the morning. We were like, oh, makes sense why you were behaving the way you were behaving. It's like, yeah, probably from the club. Man Googled it so he could allow his behaviour. <laughs> I said, what's the MD now? Like my man in the YSL trial. <laughs> it's a show, Judge. Oh, it is? Yes. Okay. Well, I ain't Judge Glamble, and I don't play, so stop showing out. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Mr. Jimenez, you want to tell your client to get a grip? He bust case, though. No. Yeah. Go find guilty, bro. Someone else got... Um, he got found guilty. Oh, he got found guilty. Yeah. Someone else got let go, though. I don't know. He, the dude was trying to do the... I can't stand the room. In the courtroom. He's a guilty. The, guilty, brother. I said, you don't try and do the insanity plea. You're done. Well, You're guilty, man. Have you seen the um the video of... um You know, like when they go to the judge to basically say that they've been cheating and the wife wants a um divorce, but they got to plead the case. Mm-hmm. So I think the wife has come to... Get her man to acknowledge that he's cheated, but then also convince her that he's happy to work at it and then stay together kind of thing. So the judge is breaking it down. Like, you do realise you cheated on her with X amount of women and da-da-da-da. Oh, oh, yeah, are, are, are you willing to fix it? Again? it yeah. No. 
But then he said, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah, I yeah, said, I mm, hey. Everyone went mad in the courtroom, <laughs> innit? No, I see that one still. Hey, listen. But don't embarrass me, though. Like, if I'm in a situation where I've cheated on you, don't. Don't blast it on all the blogs and then expect me to come with my tail between my legs. I'm sorry. You've chosen to embarrass me. That's it. It's, it's done there. But you know, this whole cheating thing is interesting because when a man cheats, yeah, it's, he knows everything, isn't it? Like, he knows why he cheated, the dog, whatever. When a woman cheats, it's, yeah, but there must have been a reason. He wasn't there for a... Uh, it was a... Brother, you both cheated, bro. Like, I don't know why you're giving this one excuses and this one... Why is one allowed excuses and one not allowed excuses? Even if the reasons for cheating are different, it's still... You still cheated. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. What, should both be allowed to share an excuse? Or if, you ex- if you're accepting an excuse from one, accept it from the other? Yeah. Okay. But and, and also as well, even if the excuses are not the same, they're still excuses. You still done the act. Yeah, but how many men you know have valid excuses, bro? Not to say that cheating is cool. How many women have valid excuses? Because I want, because he weren't there for you. I mean, that's he wasn't. A... He wasn't romantic. Okay, cool. But look at um. Oh, Allow me, man. That's I... an excuse to cheat, man. I was gonna reference Top Boy again. Well, you ain't even flipping seen it, man. It's not. It's not an excuse, man. No, I'm not saying this. It's just, there's there's no... No, the same way you look at it. When a woman's pregnant, yeah, and she's having your baby, you won't stress her out because you realize she's in a, a certain period of her life where. It's kind of crucial. What do you mean you want to her? As in, like, you can't expect her to do the same thing she was doing before she was pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Because... A, lot of men, a lot of men cheat during that period as well. Cool. I'm not, I'm not saying, like, all right, cool, I'll get back to that in a minute. But I'm saying, so if there's a dude, for example, who's working flat out, working hard at work, trying to provide, I mean, pay bills and whatever... He's in the season of his life as well that you need to be understanding as well over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you mm. can't be saying, ah, oh, but you're not just like, I hear you communicate that to him and say you'd like to see him more, but you need to understand he's in the season of his life where he's trying to grind and get the money for the fam. Same way you're in the season of your life where you're birthing a child and you're nurturing. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not it's, saying, it's, they're, I'm not it's, saying um... they're the same, but there's got to be understanding, but you can't cheat now. <clears throat> That's like the guys when the woman's pregnant saying, yeah, but why is she pregnant? Why can't I cheat? Brazy. No, I'm, I'm saying it's, no, not, no, it's, no, it's I, not an excuse. No, I only said it happens because it happens. Just, then, it's, it's just reality. That's like a woman I, saying, it's mad. It's mad to that's, me. that's like a woman saying, oh, but my husband worked so hard, I hardly see him. That's not an excuse for cheat either because you can see what he's doing. He's, he, if he's like out clubbing all the time and not seeing you, then that's different because that's choice. This brother's working hard. You can't say because he's working hard. I don't yeah, understand. It's you know a, what I'm saying? It's a, t- it's a tough one, but I, I do think we need to kind of um, kill this whole theory of 50-50. In terms of what? Relationships. It's not 50-50. But in what way, though? The capacity, the, the, the way you use 50-50 is 100-100. That's how it should be. But there's, there's some times where, for me, in this situation, I might be 80. And mm-hmm. for some situations, you might... So there was, the, the reason why I say that is there was one video where um, the woman just recently had a baby mm-hmm. and she filmed all the times that she had to wake up and feed. And um, like she, so she would film in the bedroom and I think she would film in the kitchen mm-hmm. making the, the baby's bottle. But the background to this, what we're watching, the dad's just snoozing. Every time the alarm goes off, he'll wake up, you're right, babe, and he'll go back to bed. Mm-hmm. So this, I think this went viral on Twitter. And bare women were quote tweeting it saying, see, this is the kind of struggle love I don't aspire to have, blah, blah, blah. So someone in the comments, I think on TikTok was like, so what, is, like, what does your man do? He goes to work, he pays the mortgage, he pays the bills, he gets the groceries, he takes the other kids to school, he does the school run while he allows me to look after our first, our next child who is a newborn. And then, and then no one, re- no one reposted that part. No one, <laughs> All everyone saw was the dad there you don't sleeping. Fit, you don't fit the narrative. That's why I don't fit the narrative. <clears throat> that's, my, but that's my point. Even if the dad is just working a normal nine to five and he's like, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm the one getting the money here. So I need to sleep. I need to sleep. Sleep if, is important. If, if it, no, but if it works for their relationship, why are you getting a headache for them? <laughs> why? I don't understand. If she's come out and complained and said, ah, oh, he's at home, he's just at home smoking weed, he don't do nothing. Uh, all right, cool, we could enter the chat now because you've allowed us in. But a lot of people have headaches for other people's relationships. What's the saying again? Don't, don't take a um, parasite of other people's headaches. I, I'm not sure. The thing is, I don't want to say... I said it. I don't, I don't think... I, I think I got it from Tolly. Don't take paracetamol for someone else's headache. I don't know if she made that one up. I think it was her saying. I, I don't know if it's a, but Tolly was chief, 
She was holding the uh, the flag with that one. I think I think I think I got it personally. I got it from Tolly. Shout out Tolly though. But um, it's true. People take paracetamol for for headaches they don't have. I'm like, are you all right? Why are you so angry, bro? Why are you so oppressed? I think there's a lot of this whole men and women thing in it. There's always a, a struggle. No, but it's just, no, but always beefing each other. It's like so that's why when women see stuff that triggers them, that's it. If it triggers me, I'm talking about it. Whereas if men, something can trigger us, we might talk about it in our group, we won't be super vocal with it. We'll just be like, amongst us, we'll be like, I don't even agree with this, man. This is nonsense. But because it's not affecting our lives, if you don't take it serious, serious, mm-hmm. we just take it like, could never be me. Whereas when women see stuff, it's like, that could be me. I'm talking. Do you, know, do you see the difference? Mm-hmm. We're like, ah, it's never me. They're like, no, that could be me. Or... All the other women that have <laughs> troubling, I'm back. Like, we, listen, women are riders, you know. Yeah. But the yeah. problem is, sometimes you ride for people who didn't ask you to ride, or they don't have all the information. Yeah, they ride like they have the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes you don't have all the information. It's just like, yo, we're not saying you don't ride. We're just saying there's but, more information that needs to be shared. Just, just take time with this one. <laughs> There's more information that needs to be shared with this one. Wait till 6 p.m. until more info drops. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You're at 11 a.m. <laughs> blasting, man. Brother, can you wait seven more hours, please? Sometimes the information drops and it's like, but then but my, well, my thing is this. When the information drops, where's the... We want, we'll the, same the, same vim. Vim. We want the same Vim at 11 o'clock that you got. <laughs> Give us the apology, Vim. Like, ah, oh, you know, we got it wrong my this bad. one. My bad. We'll be back for someone else, though. <laughs> but for you, my bad. There's not, it just goes... Like, it just goes quiet. with like, what what you know, you see the tumbleweed. Where, where's everyone now in the barn? Yeah. The saloon, there's no one in the saloon no more. <laughs> the doors are swinging. <laughs> you can all hear the handle now. What's yeah. going on here, man? Hinges going off. Uh, yeah, it's, it's funny how things play out, man. It's, and it's sick because it's just like, bro, all this is happening in real time. We don't have the right or the wrong answers. We're all trying just as much as each other. Some people are flying or doing the mad thing, though. What's the mad thing? No, nah, like, <clears throat> we've never really addressed it on our pod, yeah? But um, when people talk about defunding male podcast and then they just band everyone together. And I'm like, <laughs> the certain content I've seen, big man, man don't stand for that, bro. So when you, when you put male podcasts only one category, yeah. <laughs> there's still nuances behind everyone's podcasts. Some some man are online doing a mazine. But we all welcomed it because we all said, let's go online and be free and create content. And this is this is part of the part of Basel. But do you know what doesn't make sense? It's because, like, period dramas, there's Downton Abbey. That's a great one, right? But there could be a dead one that comes out. Because it's dead, what? Ah, ban all period dramas. Are you sick in your head? You can look and see what's good and what's not. That's it. Now, we've never been, we've never been, not to say we we wouldn't, but our um, process of creating content isn't to get people in a room and catch them out. Yeah. So when these men are putting eight girls from OnlyFans in one room and then asking them questions about, so do you think you could be on OnlyFans um, and have a relationship? It's like, brother, where's this conversation going, bro? There's only so much the girls are going to say. And then this content gets bare views and then everyone else wants to jump on board because because the views is, is indicating that this is a sick piece of content. It's like, no, it shouldn't work like that. But <clears throat> man can't talk about how the world works, bro. Yeah, but a lot, of, a lot of podcasts do that where... Um, and I see it on... Do you know what it is? I think it's just a buzzword now that people use for... In terms of... Like, for example, we might post something on TikTok and then you'll see someone in the comments that will say... You'll see someone in the comments that says... Um, what do they say? Um, less mics, more careers. You know oh, 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 oh. Or like... Or... Um, God, why is podcast equipment so cheap? It's like... It's like, it's like the generic thing to say now. Like, people just always, like... Do you know what I'm saying? Like It's like, it's like, it's like what you're they, having... They, they, don't, they don't listen to the pod. They don't listen to the content. They don't care what's going on. It's just the thing for them to say. Is, yeah, it's like when you're having the back-to-back on socials and they say, how old are you? What's my age got to do with it? I don't understand. Now, you might know I agree with some of the podcast conversations where there's certain stuff I hear online and I'm like, Jesus Christ. No, but that's what Taylor's saying. No, Taylor, I'm agreeing with you. Taylor's oh. saying some pods are dead. As I said, I said, Downton Abbey is a good period drama, but there's bad period dramas. But that's like saying, because you've seen two bad ones, you fund all period dramas. They're like, no. you got to look at... Which, the, the ones that are bad, call them out. The ones that are cool, whatever. But the way they banned it is just like... It's just...
Is that your ringtone? <laughs> X-Men still. Very violent, bro. Very aggressive. <laughs> I'd say you're definitely right in saying a lot of people don't listen to... They don't listen. And mm. that's I think that's the issue I have with, with content being clipped because most people speak on your whole podcast based on one clip mm. where you can have 90% into, you know what I mean, education or whatever, the one time you say something outlandish that goes viral, that's the whole content of your whole podcast. Everyone says, this is what, I'm like, bro, you just listened to this because that's what people wanted to clip. Mm. But that's the, but that's why you have to control your own narrative though and you put content out that you like because if you put content out that you like and it's out there, when there is a, a bad clip, if people do come back to your page or whatever, they will see what you're saying but if you don't really put stuff out, and they only see that. That's what they're only going to see. But people should, it's, that's people that just don't listen. So for me, I feel like people that listen to the podcast will know. So for me, I think because of, you know, our fans and stuff like that, they'll know that this is what you talk about if a clip comes out. But you find that the people that will comment 90% of the time won't even give a shit about anything else you put out. So they're not coming on your page to come and look at anything else. No, no, no. I, I, say, I hear what you're saying. But you know, sometimes with podcasts, people hear, people see it, but they might not say nothing. So the bare podcasts that I see clips and I don't listen to the pods, but I see the clips here and there because they might post it, some might repost it. You just see it. Even Wallow and Gilly, I don't want to see a pod. Bare time I see their clips. But if I see like, a, if they don't put nothing out and I just see a mad clip of their pod, I'm going to think that's what their pod's about. Whereas I've seen enough of like, for example, Shits and Gigs, I don't, not in the rude way, I don't listen to their pods as such, but I see so many clips that I kind of know what the pod's about. So I'm saying, so I'm saying, if you put enough clips out yourself, People can try a thing, but most people be like, yeah, I've, I've seen that pod. I don't really, I don't think that's what they're on, you know. Mm. Whereas if they're not seeing anything and they just hear it, they just think, oh, another one of those pods. I don't think there's a right or wrong way. Both, like both of you are right in the sense that <clears throat> Keith's method to how his content should be pay- portrayed online, he's not wrong for that. It's just the internet's a wild, wild place. So what Marv is saying is because it's a wild, wild place, it just helps if there's more content of you pushing the what content you, you want pushed yeah, yeah, yeah. as opposed to the negative. Yeah, yeah. So no, you're both right. 100%. 100%. It's just that you find the commenters are people that just want to comment on one single clip of something and that becomes the whole, this is the whole thing. You know what I mean? This is the, you know what I mean? The synopsis of the whole podcast based on this one clip. You know what mm. I mean? And like you said, it becomes how old are you? How this, how this? Like based on one clip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The age, the age thing gives me so much joke. It's like, well, I'm not allowed to age gracefully. Like what's going on? <clears throat> have you have you seen Top Boy? Nah, I've not seen Top Boy since the Channel Four Top Boy. <sighs> you are cute. You know what I mean? So like, I've not. Yeah. So I, if I was to watch Top Boy now, I'd be. Yeah, I would have to start from well. Season, there's three seasons the of ones. this one. So yeah, remember, yeah. there's four seasons of Top Boy, but the new ones there's three seasons. I would have to start from season one. So basically, I call it the Drake Top Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. So I've not watched that. any of the Drake Top Boy. Mm. I tr- you know I tried, but I don't know. It just. I, I just I just wanted to ask if the the backdrop of the Drake Top Boy is the equivalent to like a couple of states that we. Know is it of. anything like the first season? Because their man they were trapping on the block, and I was like, this is not New Orleans, bro. <laughs> they were trapping like the wire. <laughs> no, but some, no but some blocks do do that though. If you go to the, you, that's what I'm saying. Is that the backdrop there? of now today? Yeah, but remember as well, we're, we're not really in it like that. No, I know, but you can go to the inner state. You know someone from those estates. I don't get what you're saying. Sorry. Do you know someone from an estate today that the backdrop is like Top Boy? I should hope not. Our <laughs> <laughs> uh, age? No, that lives there. I'm not saying that that's involved in what's going oh, on. Oh, okay, okay. There, so yeah. I thought you meant involved. No, no, no. That lives age. there. Like, do you know anyone who could play a character in Top Boy is what I'm asking? Oh, yeah. You know a few men that, from the areas that could, yeah. You know, no, that's what I'm saying. That's oh, what I'm okay, asking. Because some people are watching Top Boy and they don't think this exists. This is just a... Oh, okay. Someone, figment of imagination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, who's? A, fig, a figment of your imagination. <laughs> you corrected that one because... Hey, no, listen, don't try and catch me up, man. Hey, yo, man. No, that's yeah. what you need to clarify. You, get, you can't be embarrassing us. I saw a post. Who sent it to me the other day? Uh, let me... Anton, let me see if I can read it, yeah? Because I want to take your thoughts. Okay, um, it's a screenshot of someone who said, one day we'll talk about the number of black owned businesses that do really well but then su- subject to hostile takeovers by investors who buy out of administration for pennies and still front it as black owned when it's not black people routinely running businesses into the hundreds of thousands with no professional advisors in sight it's a pandemic if someone writes you a 250,000 pound check then continues to live their life just think for a minute 
what what they have huh? or what they have access to versus you. But are they cooked her, bro? Because you know when I read when I saw that, because you know I'm not on there. So when when I read that, I was like, if it's an administration, it can't be doing well. Oh, like, <laughs> they cooked her, and then she tried to say something like. But what, what, I think someone tried to develop the point in the sense of like, yeah, you have a thriving business, but then they put obstacles in place to drive you to administration and then take you over. I think that's just someone trying to develop her point. You know what I mean? You know, like when they, you know, like when they, um, your, your company's doing well and all of a sudden you get a big check from whoever they're saying it's from and all of a sudden they change the formula. Again, it depends on how big of a percentage that person Owns of your business It dep- depends on how What you negotiate But I think that's what They were basically getting at that. Whenever we have a um, Something that's for us Somehow it gets taken over And then diluted Because it's funny Because So for me You know people always like, oh, When's the restaurant opening And so on and so on So the issue That I've been having Essentially was A control issue With someone So you've got a big cash injection Someone wants to put in more money But they want The majority equity In your business So I'm like If you have the majority What then happens is You now have control Mm-hmm. So you can then decide important things. So for me, I was like, cool. I'm willing to go as far as 49.51. Where for me, it was like, it's not about the dividends. It's not what comes in my pocket. I just want that extra one or 2% that, you know, gives me control of my business. That lets me drive my business in the direction that I want to drive it in. And most people don't think about these things um, beforehand. Because no one teaches you this stuff. You get to the drawing board. Somebody wants to give you money. And they're like, I want more equity. And you sit there and you think, if I give this person equity, when you're getting along with your business partners, it's fine. Nobody cares who's in control up until shit hits the fan. Mm. And now when important decisions are being made, you realize that you don't have any voting rights. You know, mm. you don't have the majority where people can, you know, yeah. go that way and make decisions without you. So I think what happens with a lot of people is they'll take money from people without thinking of what that looks like. You know, it's like, I've got the bread, I've got the, this for the business, you know, it's time to move forward. And when you're getting along, everything is fine. The minute you do something they don't like... Do you know what? You, you know why what you said is sick here? And it's it's now made me realise why women harp on about the ring. Because it's like... Voting rights. This, no, this is just your way of solidifying and letting everybody else know that this is official. Yes, we've lived in the house for three, four, five, six, seven years. Yes, I'm your boy. Um, I'm your girlfriend. You're my boyfriend, and you could potentially be husband and wife, and just transition into that. But di- for for society or f- in front of um, whatever religious belief you have, this is what solidifies that we are man and wife. Hundred percent. Man, are standing there like, yeah, but man don't really believe in the ring thing. Like that. <laughs> but no, but it's understandable. But it's understandable from both sides because if it's like, look at if you look at your if you look at your relationship like a business essentially, you're thinking the same thing where you're like, I don't want to agree to certain terms because they're gonna come a situation where I want to pull back, but I can't because I'm contractually obligated to do X Y Z. Oh yeah, there's that too. Yeah. I'll give you an example. So especially when you know these are things that I found out about not late, but a little later than I should have, but managed to put them in. So you find out there's things like um, like a drag along. Let's call it a drag a drag along clause or a tag along clause. So let's say I have the controlling share in the business or whatever. A drag along clause, depending on what we agree, says that when I go to sell my shares, you have to sell your shares as well if the person wants to buy everything. So it's a drag along. So, oh, so yeah. I drag you along. And then a tag along clause says, you know what I mean? If you have the, you know, shares that you have or whatever, if I'm selling to someone, whoever's buying my shares has to buy your shares. So you say, oh, you're selling yours. Whoever you're selling to has, has to, to buy, buy my shares well. at the same price they're mm. buying your shares. But these are little things that you, you know what I mean? You never hear about. But when you're in that situation now and you're thinking, we're here, what happens? And you could literally be bumping. We were bumping heads for time. When I say for a very long time, because, you know what I mean, no one could agree on just this, you know what I mean, we're in a little bit of hot water, we need to sort out this situation, what's going on? And people are like, cool, we'll do X, Y, Z, but I want the controlling share. And I was like, okay, what what then? What happens then? You know, and you're like, cool, if you take the majority of the business, what's my incentive to continue doing this? But that's how they freeze people out, no? Yeah, mm. and that's what happens, because, you know, people are like, nah, it's not even like that. And don't ever in your life believe people when they say, it's not even like that, you know what I mean? That's not how I do business. Even if, even more reason to sign, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> if you don't do business like that, why do you have an issue signing something? That was the thing that um, Tyrese was saying, that was his issue with his, um, the divorce that he t- had with his wife. So when they decided to get married, they signed, they 
signed a prenup and I think she agreed that everything was his from so that date, that date onwards, everything he had brought in and she had brought in, I take what's mine, you take what's yours, kind of thing. So then when it now when he's the marriage progressed or whatever and he realized that now nah, you're not here for me, kind of thing. Obviously they decided to get a divorce. Cool. Now the, during the divorce, it's like, yeah, I believe I should get this, I should get that. He's like, hold on. <laughs> when we first started, you, you said yeah, but did you sign a prenup? Yeah, yeah, he signed the prenup. He said, that's why the prenup was so airtight because you told me to put this in and you told me to put that in and now you want me to take it out. He's like, I don't understand what's going on here. That's how I know you were here for the so, money. So the problem is with um, prenups is now they're saying in America that a lot of people are starting to um, contest prenups now. I'm not saying they weren't before, but nowadays it's like, yeah, I signed the prenup, but, and like, it's like any. It's, it's like, getting a bit techy now, still over there, apparently. It's like any contract. They, they look at your state of mind when you sign. You know, so more of you say, I was in a bad place when I signed this contract, and so on and so on. So it now brings your contract into question. Be, yeah. It, it, so yeah. now it's. That's cool, the, no? It's at the judges. <laughs> Low order, yeah? No, no. It's at the judges. <laughs> it's at the judges' discretion now. I need to get that sound effect. It's like here in the UK, um, prenups are at the judges' discretion, essentially. So if the judge decides that. I don't yeah, care yeah, about it. It is long. Yeah, but to be fair, there's certain... Okay, what would you have in your prenup? Um, I'm leaving it what I came with. Yeah, but I feel like a prenup protects... If a prenup is done properly... It can, pr- heart, you know? it can properly protect everyone involved, even with the women. It can guarantee they can leave with something or so on. So if you think about it, all a prenup is is a pre-agreed contract that says, in the case of us going our separate ways, yeah. you get this, this, and this. But, so if we agree that but, I'll give you this, I'll give you that, I'm okay to... But, she can secure all of that ahead of time. But, no, my, but how but, do you... Sorry. How do you sign a prenup based on... Stuff that ain't happened yet. Yeah. yeah. And also, it's, it's determined on the crime. If we decide to get divorced because you cheated on me, I no, don't no, want to give you. No, but you, those are things you put in there. So, oh, like, okay, okay. No, but how do I say that? Say no, it, but you no. put it there. You have to put it's it there. In there bro. The girls will go, I'll never cheat on you. No, but exactly. exactly. It's an infidelity clause. So, if you're not going to cheat, it's cool. But you haven't got but, nothing to worry about. But I need to take my one out of there. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an infidelity clause. That's like certain contracts hey. you have, you know, the immorality, you know, yeah. immorality clause, where if you do something crazy or something immoral, they can void your contract based off that. You know, so you go out there and you get caught pissing outside. If it goes against your contract, that that's grounds for there's an immorality clause. Man can't keep that in there. Hey, you know, um, some things are just demoralizing. Like, what the point I'm gonna make here? You know, apparently there's an Indian doctor that clocked that that nurse something was moving mad on her shift. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. called it out and they made, no, they made him a because they, they, she started crying. <laughs> yeah. I, I saw a comedian talking about the power of white women's tears. Andrew, who oh, yeah, Andrew, yeah, yeah, Andrew, yeah. Brother. Only to find out that he was right. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, see, when white women start crying, bro, you're mm. in trouble. It's long, bro. Trust me, that's what, that, that crying shit, you know what I mean? Mm-mm. That's why for me, you know what I mean? Do it on message. You got crying messages. You know what I mean? Right type that. Because <laughs> that's, you know? that's when why... you pick up their phone and they start crying. <laughs> in white America, I mean, in white America, during slavery, it must have been a madness. Because the moment, if a thing went there, like how you move it, this. Mm, but the demo were rushing you, blood. Yeah. What's <laughs> done going on over here? You, you man, ain't watched. No, but, but why are you chatting to what you, you think you have Master's the bri- wife? No, yeah. but, no, but sometimes man won't chat into a but she's just sticking it on you. No, not even that. There was that. There was times where women did have relations with slaves, but then if it got found out, then they'll say, Oh, he attacked me. That's the papi, who the daddy? Yeah, <laughs> have you watched? Oh, you man ain't watched Boardwalk Empire. No. Yeah. So on Boardwalk Empire, it's funny because I watched this episode just the other day. Um there's a part essentially where the black guy, um, the white woman, you know, like he's he's waiter in the restaurant or whatever. So she she draws them fucking on a piece of paper. She slips it in his coat pocket in it. So she's there with her partner or whatever. And then she so he pulls it out of his pocket and she looks at him. They go to the room or whatever. Then the brother busts in the room in it, and she's with the she's with the guy. And you know she's like, I was raped, tried to rape me or whatever. He's ended up battering the other guy who's just bust in the room. He dies. The woman runs off. She comes back with other people, and she's like, Yeah, my man tried to rape me. And do you know what I mean? And so he's now in a murder and a, and rape charge. Yeah, but literally all she did, you know, she started like even when you see when they're um, having a conversation about, it, she's there crying. And everything, but she's the one who initiated everything. So it's not even like he tried to move the world, tried to put it on her. She put the moves on him, passed him everything. And that's why uh, we had a, what would you call it? A um, advert of WhatsApp. If you had WhatsApp, there would have been a pit. <laughs> <laughs> this show was based in the 1920s, bro. 
Privacy functions. <laughs> you could have protected it with a little pin, four digits, you know. <laughs> yeah, but if you get kicked and they get in your phone, you're finished. No, but then, but if she's messaging me telling me to come in. Oh, you can see it. Yeah, uh, you can see but it. But she yeah. passed him a little note. No, I'm saying, but that would have been a note. It would have been a case of message but me. But now they delete messages and, you know. Yeah, but even at that point, I don't. No, no, but I, you go into WhatsApp and it says delete, delete, delete. <laughs> but even in, but, um, in those days, even if there was evidence that it was her that moved to him, they didn't Nobody care. wants it to, yeah, that's just yeah, wrong. Like, care. it's immoral. And white people didn't want that being. The thing, you know, with your family member, you're, you're, you don't want your family member admitting to having sex with a black man. Because that's just, you know what I mean? That's the whole family in disrepute. Mm. Oh, I was going to say, do you believe that is racist if a dad says, I don't want my daughter to bring home a black man? But he's white. Yeah. Yes, but I also have no issue with it because I've seen it in... No, but is it racist though? Because for example, if... if... It's, it's based on the reason why. Okay, cool. So it, it can be racist, but I also don't have an issue with it because if a black person was like, I don't want my kid dating white people, I'm like, it is what it is. Because, your... yeah, because but it also can be racist. Because some Nigerians would be like, I don't want you bringing them Jamaican or Ghanaian. Bro, some of them... I, I only want a Nigerian. If you're Yoruba, they don't even want you bringing Igbo. I'm just saying, as in like, but it's, that's not racist, is it? Because as, as, but I think but then but some of the uh, reasons behind some, of peop- some people's parents not wanting... That's where the issue is. It is yeah. sinister. Because you might say Jamaican, they're not serious. Yeah. You don't bring a Jamaican home. You know I'm saying, but it's like, no, not really. Or Ghanaians, you, they're lazy people. Do you know why it's funny? It's because we, we was it was it our gen or would you say gen before us? Where we're looking at our, our parents back saying it in our heads, obviously, but we're not serious too. <laughs> what? You're sick. Like, you know that my mum used to say our jamals, they're not serious. So that... uh, definitely our generation. I'd say the generation before, it was a little stricter on them. That, that, that man couldn't bring no Jamaican home. Nah. What? Yeah. Our generation. Well, then again, my stepmom was Jamaican, so in my home, it was a little different. No, I'm saying like here, Niger- Nigerians, remember? Because yeah, yeah. a lot of my, like, my parents, like, pure, it was pure cocaine, bro. It, like, there was, it wasn't stepped on. It weren't cut. They weren't cut. It was, this was real, like, you, and you I know could Nigerians see the family trees. Not, I know Nigerians did not want people dating outside of... Their tribe. And for cultural, yeah, even tribalism, like we call it tribalism. You, you didn't want people dating outside your area, bro. Yeah, that's what mm-hmm. I'm saying. You have the Ivos, you have the Yorubas. No, not even not even, not even Yorubas. Not, not even, I'm talking about in Yorubas, as in like, your, like, what family? Who are you dating? Let me see the family. Is it, what's the granddad doing? What's the dad doing? What's the, that's a good family. All right, bring them. If it's not a good family and I, oh, I can't see what they're doing over there, it's wild. don't come over okay, here cool, and chat to right. them. Cool, but is that lost now? It it's is done, lost now. No, 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 but is that a bad thing? Or yeah. good thing? Yes, a, yes and thing. no. You think it's a bad thing that it's lost now? It's you think thing. we should go back to looking at no, people but, above that? But that's what no, marriage no, was, bro. No, but, that's what I'm, but you should, but to be fair, when if if you've got a good family and I've got a good family, that's... That's we, what marriage we, was. We, we haven't got to worry, bro. It was a union of two good families. It's like business, you know, two merge, yeah. a merger of two good businesses. But imagine, but imagine you get with someone and then the mum's a nutter, <laughs> the dad's doing a mad thing, the uncle's a... Now you've you've crossed your families like this. You're okay, so you're part you, of that family now. Yeah. Have you ever like demoted someone around you because you've met their mom and dad? Yes. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I'm not even going to lie. Hundred percent. There's certain. Have you ever looked in a situation and you're like, I can't procreate into that family. <laughs> People can say it's bad or whatever. Yeah. There's certain chicks I've looked at and I was and you know you like you're so cool. Everything's cool. Nah, <laughs> you're looking at the fan, bro. You're like, my kid has to spend. It's like a ticking time bomb. Bro, my kid has to spend a portion of their life in here. Think about it. Your no, kid I, has to spend I, time with I, that side of the family. So if you look at that family taser, you're like, that's not where I want my child to be. Something needs, some, 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 some needs some babbling in the family, though. Some what? Something needs some bad man in the family, though, still. Yeah, but... <laughs> I can't lie, But man. it has to be functional. I, did, I don't want to do functional. I want to be a bad man over there. So they're, <laughs> they're pulling my kid like, what? What? Hey, that's uh, happening at the school, you know. Well, you're there already. You can't call Sully, though. <laughs> What's cool, Sully? But with a family you like eat that one there, <laughs> Marvin. With a family like that, your kid is the bad man. Your kid's coming home telling you, "Shut up!" And you're nah, thinking, nah, nah, nah. and you're and you're, you're sitting at home, Marvin, and your mom is like, "What is going on here?" Mm. You know, I feel like you should be. You should. It should be okay for you to say, "I cannot. I cannot. I cannot." Because. I- Due diligence, bro. Think of it. When you go into business with someone, Taser, you look at someone and you think, nah, it's not, mm-mm, I yeah. can't be around all of that. It's the same thing. I feel like marriage went left when we stopped looking at it as partially business. Business, business poli- marriage for me is business, politics, then you have love. 
You know what I mean? Those three things work together. Nowadays, we probably spend more time focusing on the love aspect, which is an important part, but people ignore the business and the politics. Can I like, ask you a question just to get sweet for our listeners? It's not, it's not, I don't think the love part is important like that. See, this is what no, I'm, I'm saying. No, I think it's I, less important, I, but it's important. No, no, no. I knew no. this is where the conversation was going. No, no, it is, no, 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 it, no, is, so, it is important, but I feel like the, the difference with love is you can fall in and out of love with someone, but you can still love them. So, for example, there's times where there's some of your brethren that you love them, but not you fall in, in and out of love, but sometimes you might disagree, you fall out, but you're adult enough to realize that. The love I have for you is bigger than what this is. So although we're not going to talk today, we'll talk another day or whatever. Whereas some people that get married, the feeling of love to them is a different feeling. The moment that disappears... The feeling they're not in love no more. And they want to end the wedding. Yeah. Didn't you see Michelle Obama saying, I, I didn't like Barack for like 10 years? Well, together, and I couldn't, I couldn't really stand him. Like, he, was, he used to wind me up, but I realised that, that our marriage is bigger than that. It wasn't just about whether it I was, like him or not. It was a case of he was doing everything he'd done, but I didn't like him for different reasons. But now it's full circle. I guarantee you, people's parents that are still together, I'm not saying all, oh, but some of them would, would tell you, marriage is hard, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you have, to, it's, you have to stick at it. You can't just say, all right, it's done, but I feel like society nowadays, there's this whole, ah, I don't really care. I think it, I don't feel it anymore, so I'm gone. I think it's two things. One, um, people's idea and definition of love, I think, is incorrect. But the thing is, we don't know what love is. That's a problem. So, it, so it's hard to explain. No, but it, it's hard to explain, but it's hard to, not hard to explain. To substantiate. Like, what, mm. what, what, what is it? Like, what mm. is it? Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> People look at love as, you know, that good feeling in your stomach it's where you feel be great good. all the time. And that, that's not there all the time. Yeah. And again, it goes back to what Bill Marvin was saying, business and politics. When you look at your relationship as a business, essentially, you start to realize you have good times and you have bad times mm. in your business. If you wake up one day, Taze, and the events aren't booming, you've had a bad season, ah, oh, well, dash the event, do something else. No, you've got to yeah. write it. We'll Remember sustain. when you... You've spoken about it, but remember when you had the tax issues mm. where you didn't know this and this and you have all of this to pay back. You could have sit there and thought, let's just dissolve the business. You know what I mean? You could have dissolved the business and all of that would have gone away. My babes would have left me. There you go. But in that situation... Oh. That's, 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 that's the situation that's where the, babes would have left you. Yeah. But you're looking at it like, all I have to do is I know the good will come back. I just need to ride this crazy wave. But some but, people don't want to ride the wave. No. It's literally like, I don't feel good here anymore. I need to go back. It's that constant dopamine hit where you're like I need to constantly yeah. feel but good. it's hard and, though and, and, I, and I need and the grass is green on the other side because mm-hmm. as you said that dopamine hit is mad because that's the, that's another issue as well because people want as you said in terms of love people think it's a different feeling like there's difference between excitement there's difference between lust there's difference between like there's difference between love so for example you can have a, I had a conversation with a girl one time and she was telling me about all these men in her DMs and whatever whatever what does that mean? Like, doesn't mean they like you. Yeah. It means they're lusting after you. Man, one cheeks. Beat all of them and see. I had a 10 guys, beat all of them. See, you, you, maybe. Like beat all of them. What kind of advice? No, 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 no. I'm just saying, beat all of them. <laughs> and days. and I guarantee you, 10 of them are not going to wife you. Yeah, but that's and, I, and not because of the other nine. 
they're, they're, Just in general. In general, their their uh, motives for you might not have been pure, but in your mind, you think attention. because their attention means like and love. It doesn't. It means lust. It's the same as the it's the guys that go style it and lose their mind, though. Yeah. You're going for a little sad spot at home. You go to strip club. Oh, I thought that was firing at me. Then, oh no, 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 no! Because <laughs> I was like, "Well, yeah, I was in a strip club." Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no. yeah, yeah. What does that you mean? Go for, go for a rough patch at home, and then you're you're spending the night at strip clubs, and one takes a liking to you. All of a sudden, you want to scatter your whole yard. Big man, what? I hear it. <laughs> what do you mean? You what? Nah, I hear, I Over hear cheeks? It. That's not yours. <laughs> nah, yours. <laughs> I hear it. I hear it. So, no, but the cheeks, oh, the cheeks oh, are the cheeks are mine. Temporarily. Yeah, but boy. <laughs> when you say one night only, <laughs> nah, boy. When you go to Dubai for two weeks, you ain't living like that in real life. But the yeah. but the buy is booming <laughs> for them two weeks, man. Yeah. But then I, it's but, though, do you know bank what? Balance. But you know it's great why you said that because people that then go and live in Dubai, a lot of them have tell a different story. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're living, but, if but, you're living a regular life, wait, 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 or, you're, or, you're make, or you're making money out there. Yeah. yeah, but you can't go to Dubai for two weeks and then decide you want to go live there and then live how you were. I'm living for the two week holiday, but that's, that's where what, you get fucked. But that's where a lot of them expect what they expected to be all the time. Well, so, they're in branches so, every day. So no, when they go, they live the, a regular life. But the, the, the buyers are jaw right, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but you need to exercise discipline. No, no, no. When it comes to discipline, discipline is easy when you walk out your door and it's raining, it's grey. There's no, there's a the motive, homeless, there's man. no real motives. Oh, do you know what I had to do in Dubai? Brother, Dubai every Thursday, Friday, Saturday. <laughs> brother, you got American flying in, Swedish babes, English babes. Ah, do you know what? Yo, if your money's not money in, I'm bro. Gonna, I'm going to over there, it's booming. I'm going to stay this week. What? If your money ain't money in, bro. Then next week's the same thing. So and next week's the same thing. Yeah, you're going to be one of them guys that's selling front, bro. Because that don't make no. Your money's not going to money that every You're not getting what I'm saying. I didn't say your money's going to money, but I'm saying no, it's, 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 like, it's, it's harder to be it's, disciplined. It's hard to be disciplined there, yeah. But you know what real discipline is? Going to Dubai for two weeks and coming the fuck back home. <laughs> That's real. If you want to talk discipline, going over there and trying to be disciplined is hard. Just come home. That's discipline. Or would you go live in Albasha and then just drive in every day? Oh. Really? <laughs> quay over there. Quay over there. You can't. In well, the little camp. But uh, girls can't message you. Where, <laughs> what's going on? Me and my girls at the fire. Where are you? Yeah, I'm in Albasha. <laughs> Man, don't see you are. It's like 20 minutes away. <laughs> A 20 minutes away, I pull up. In Albasha. It doesn't matter where you yeah, are. Yeah, Marvin, then as long as you're, not, you're not where they think Airbnb, you are. Airbnb, when what, you want a link a chick, what, hotel. What's the rent saying over there? It's like two meals a month. Like, I don't know. Well, Albasha. <laughs> Bro, them little camps there. You, know, uh, you're you just got give, You just uh, got to give them your passport. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a proper thing? Yeah. That's yeah. Where, where do you think the people that work in Dubai live? Yeah. Oh, that's where the workers are not living there. <laughs> I thought you. I thought you said that like it's like another like. No, oh, brother, oh, you're living one, in... one girl I know went to Dubai. Yeah, she and she snapped her balcony. And I said, "That ain't Dubai, blood. <laughs> Where are you? Is it the same Dubai my bridge was snapping? <laughs> Probably. Like, tell you, bro, love it when my bridge is like we've not seen one Lambo out here. I'm like, where the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, when Maddie showed me where they were, yeah, I was like, I don't think most people that come to Dubai have seen the area you man are hanging out in. Like, I told these man they should have gone DR. You're the other guy start looking like this. Is that the, would you say that's Dubai? That's like Morocco. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is my boy. That's in Dubai. Nah. Yeah, we gonna say you're in Morocco, isn't it? That's in Dar es Salaam. <laughs> Where is that? Babes, I'm 20 minutes from the Burj Khalifa, <laughs> man. I'm bucky sued, man. <laughs> is there even aircon all the way out there? There must be. There's, there's candles there, blood. <laughs> candles and curtains. You know, that's like 25 minutes away from like what you're talking about. What does that mean? As in, As in it's not far. We're 20 minutes from central London here. What does that mean? No, we're not. <laughs> we are. On train still. Get that fast train, you can be there in 18 minutes. But a man can get to that Shoreditch and them Liverpool Street into about 25 minutes from here. From Liverpool Street, you can probably get to Portsmouth in 48. I'm just saying, because the way you're saying like 25 minutes is because. What's that mean? Look where it is and look where it's like the... That's close, man. That's what, I'm, that's what I said. I said the sticks is not... But you can't snap the balconies. Right? <laughs> man's man's the, man's the, man's the, what's the... 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 Let me show you this. West Indians are the funniest people, yeah? Because, look at this. Uh, you, know when you, when you, you know when someone asks a question, Marvin, yeah? And someone answers, and you think to yourself, what question were you listening to? Listen uh, to... Uh, oh, you know that, brother? Oh, 
start with? What start with E and end with E and has one letter in it? Foul egg. Hmm? Foul egg. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, listen to it again. Start with, what start with E and end with E and has one letter in it? Foul egg. What? <laughs> Started. Bro, ask to be like, what question did you hear? Because the answer is envelope. Uh, Starts with E, ends with E, has one letter in it. It's an envelope. Oh, you they get they... it? That jokes. Oh, I hate them, yeah, so, I hate them ones. But, but, but where did man get foul egg, bro? That's not even one word. I never know you got envelope, man. I, Starts really... with E. No, I'm not saying it, but because the letter thing threw me off. Because yeah, this is one letter in it. I was thinking. Yeah, because you think it's either I or yeah. or or you think it's just E. So but yeah, you. envelope. So you know when he answered it, and it's the conviction in which he answered with. Man didn't hesitate. Man said, "Four leg." Have you man seen the clip of you know the other brother that says, uh, "Are you a gay?" You know that one. Yeah. Is it, it was a new one. short sleeve one. Oh, <laughs> the short sleeve one. Brother, one? he was on man. Because so, the brother said, "I've never worn a short sleeve shirt before." Man pulled out a video. Man pulled out a, a picture. He said, "Is that you?" <laughs> Look, um, you, you you said you never wore a short sleeve before. Uh, is that you? Bro? The person has gone, is what me? A man said, when was that taken? A man said, is that you? Is that you? <laughs> when was that taken? Wait, but wait, he, he said something else. Oh, I need to, oh, I'm going to find it. Ah, oh, but it's hilarious, bro. The way he drops it to well, me. Who is he, by the way? Like a newsreader. He's like, a, yeah, he's a, news, a prominent news reporter. Yeah, he's too Gannon. funny, bro. But the way he says it. And then I said, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> and the man is like, what is what? What is this? <laughs> then he keeps on the after he's like, Anyway, we'll be back right after the break. But the way he puts it on him is like, because, and the picture, man's on someone else's shoulders, isn't it? Like, uh, he's on I the next man's fight. shoulders, like, and I think he's meeting people in the community. There we go, Martin. So you yeah. found it, yeah? Honorable Mafavi, did you say you don't wear short sleeved shirts? I don't. Rather long sleeve? No, I wear short sleeve. Do you want me to move my jacket and I see? You, you, you see that? Where? You want to see that? Where? <laughs> Who is that? When is that? Who is that? No, when is that? <laughs> Who is that? No, no, I want you to tell me when is that? Who is that? <laughs> tell me when is that? We'll take a break. I <laughs> 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 said, oh, so you're being stubborn. All right, cool. Let's take a break. <laughs> hey, I don't mean that. That brother is his worst, though. It's too oh. funny. Oh. And even, even the, 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 um, why you are gay? When he says, um, you're an LGBTQ advocate. Where's the H? Where's the H? <laughs> and heterosexual. <laughs> they say, where's the H, bro? Hey, it's too funny. She's like, what? It's like, where's the H for heterosexual? Remember, he was doing the interview with her and the, the next like, brother comes over. Remember the pastor? Yeah, they blindsided him. The pastor comes in <laughs> and, and like, he's on smoke. No, but the way he says, the pastor was just walking past the studio <laughs> so he just brought him in. <laughs> no, no, like, no, don't no, say no, no. He, he blindsided this. Get me? And he was on smoke, bro. He was not having any of it. But Ugandan TV is hilarious. There's a part in Parliament where one reporter you know, he says, um, I think said some gay union, you know what I mean, would like some time with him, you know what I mean, to dis discuss LGBTQ issues. Bro, the way man laughed, yeah? He, bro, he laughed uncontrollably. <laughs> you know, like, get out of here, man. I was like, wow. Live TV, bro. She asked him, and man laughed like it was banter. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like, it's different, different, it's different over there. It is different. All right, when are we going to talk about how if you walk in the room and see Denzel sitting in the corner, your life's finished? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, when did he demand this level of respect? Because I watched Equalizer 3, and I don't remember, I don't, I just saw the credits. I didn't think the movie was done. Like, there was no final boss. Because you just mash yeah, it up yeah, everywhere. That's why I like Equalizer. Because there's, the, there's no arc where he has to be hurt and then he has to see this. And, and train harder and survive. train harder or whatever. <laughs> but no, that kid did... That, that kid rattled him, though. <laughs> when they could shot him in the back, bro. I'm still not seeing it. Oh, uh, but that, that scene was too bad. I was like... <laughs> 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 I, I, didn't think, I didn't think it was shot. I just thought he was just being dumb. My one was coughing for time. I said, that, was, that, is, though, that was the one moment where you know, like when you let something slide and then it comes back to bite you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got that a couple of times. That's, that was like his wake up call. Which is funny still. Because sometimes when you look at certain scenes, he's like, is he going to laugh my man? 
Nah, blood. I, I had to message some of that the man. That policeman was a pussy, old blood. So I had to, I had to mess, I was going to say, I had to message some of the man them, yeah? Because, you know, some of the man them that stayed over at my house, essentially. So because I'm moving house, um, I had to get rid of one of my sofas in my other living room. Big sofa. I was like, come moving into a smaller place. I don't need it. So, uh, so bear man have slept on that sofa. Bad times, you know, because the room I don't use. So as I'm clearing it yesterday, the man who's come to pick it up, to take it to where he's taking it, yeah? What did you find in there? Brother. <laughs> What's the small one? Look at it. No, I know the bit. What's the small one? What do you think the small one is? Yes, it is what you think it is. What's he doing over there, oh, brother? I did. Well, <laughs> might be from a night out. <laughs> I was like, that's Nick. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. That's Nick. <laughs> that's white Nick. That's, that's white Nick. That's specified. White Nick. <laughs> Bro, when I That's saw that, I was like, Jesus Christ. You know, you have to send it to the man. I was like, whoever this is, take your shit with you when you leave here. Because when, when, when me and the man lifted up the sofa and it popped, when it fell out, he's looked at me. I was like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> we're, we're not doing this. We're not doing that. For, on both of those things. Because, you know, those are two things I don't play with. That's mad too. <laughs> Definitely why, Nick. And you know what? It's easy to say that, but... There's two other people I could pull up in my... I've got two other suspects. There's two other suspects, you know? It's not a cut and dry case. You know what I mean? It depends what was in there. I say, in there. <laughs> in there. Hey, that, that equalizer thing, as I said, that uh, episode for you, he's the, he's the greatest ever. <laughs> he's killing everybody. Like, John Wick wouldn't even get close. And the thing about John Wick, John Wick's... The thing is, John Wick's got a chance about Denzel... Sorry, John Wick's got a chance against Denzel if... He knows who the equalizer is already. If you know who he is already, you just clap him from far away. Like, pow, done. But if you don't know who he is, because he's older and he's a bit unassuming, you see him on the. Sake, man. <laughs> it's so loud as well. If, um, see with, with, with John Wick, yeah. If, um, sorry, with Denzel. Because he's old, yeah, you see him folding the napkin five times on the table. You're thinking, who's this idiot? Not knowing that this brother is a madman. <laughs> That's how he stands out, though. Which is sick. Because even like every, in most of the scenes where he kind of, he does this thing where he he demands your respect without you even knowing who he is. He does it in, not, not just as um, the equalizer, I'm just saying Denzel as an actor in movies. Because there's another movie called The Little Things. On Netflix and he plays a detective and he kind of does the same thing in that movie as well. That movie's sick actually. If you're um bored this weekend, go watch that on Netflix. It's a random watch, but I actually enjoyed it. Um which is gonna t- we just got invited to watch Expendables for if you man wanna go. Oh sick. I saw the trip. I, just the trailer got invited. I got invited that last week. Yeah, just literally is it, you know, <clears throat> Marvin Taser wanna come as well. Um It's this Tuesday. It's always on a Tuesday, man. I, but that all the actually, time, bro. Uh, Tell a light they just invited me a day. <laughs> no, I've already confirmed. <laughs> no, no, no. I think, do you know what it is? I think it was a message that was supposed to be sent to you and someone's copied it and sent it to me. And that's why it says, I would like to invite yourself, Taze, and Q. So yeah, it's yeah, yeah. a message that um, must have gone to you. I think, okay. Um, um, yeah, he just demands... The, um, do, this... do, you know, do you know the little girl from Man on Fire is the girl in Equalizer 4? Three. Equalizer 3. Which girl? The little girl that he saves in Man on Fire, the little girl, yeah, that yeah. Can, that's the older woman in um, oh, Equalizer 3. Yeah, which woman? The main woman. The CIA woman. The, 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 and the bomb gets... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's, yeah. That's yeah. her. Yeah, yeah. And you know another thing I want to talk about? We and it's also the, the daughter of the one woman that died. But your daughter was too young. Oh, yeah, I thought... Oh, yeah, I clocked that still. Yeah. I was going to say something I wanted to talk about. Too young? So young was in Russia. I know. I was thinking, <laughs> what? I was like, what? I was going to say um, something else I wanted to talk about because Brent through in the group. The funniest conversation is when after we left Spotify, people, ah, oh, you know what I mean? You lot left Spotify. And I was like, that's because Spotify is leaving the podcast game in that way. So now I can tell these people, that's why everyone was leaving Spotify. Man, uh, they get turfed. You know what I mean? Spotify just changed direction. Because uh, okay. you know when you have that question with people, oh, you left Spotify. Why? I'm never, like, nigga, they just changed. Bro, I'm never answering it. 
But people used to ask. <laughs> but my thing is, people used to ask it like it was a bad thing, and I was like, it's just a different direction. No, but remember, people just a lot of people just don't understand business, bro. Even, right, right. even when I listen to that, uh, the this, whole... see, I got a, I got a bone to pick with this brother. Stop moving, bruv. Moving. Move all the time, bruv. What on the camera, brother? What do you mean? I'm. You I'm don't in... understand that. Like, for example, uh, if I'm editing a video, yeah, like short form video, and it's like this, yeah, <laughs> Keith will stay in the box. So I haven't really, so as I'm editing it, I'm chopping it, Keith's coordinates will always be the same. As in, it might be like, my, like if you're this way, you'll be like minus 200 and something. If you're that way, you might be like plus 200. Bro, one minute you're plus minus 200, next minute <laughs> minus 500, next minute. I'm like, brother, <laughs> give me the fucking still, oh, bro. Can't you give me the wide? I don't know. No, say. I can't give you the wide because then that means it'll be yeah. shot in the, in oh, the no, bigger what? angle. So, look, so. look, I swear to you. Last episode with um, Kai and Fingy. Brother, I'm looking at the video. Taser is off <laughs> the screen, bro. All I'm seeing is man's shoulder. I'm like, this brother's making my job so difficult because all I had to do, because Sanam was banging in the middle, Kai was in the middle. I was a bit off, but I was still, you could still, like, I didn't know this get, was a get thing. away with it. I didn't know this was a thing. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm learning. I said this to Shorty earlier. You might know on Twitter, so you would have seen it. You see the way they were cooking, man, where he replied to Clint's tweet. Oh, did he reply back about the... No, but that, no, no, but that was, that was, that was too much, Bro, though. So, remember, so Clint tweeted, brother, brother that played Kieran shouted, man, for gums for mm. this season, and I took too long to send it to him. Thank God, because no way a man was going to get dragged out the whip screaming like that in some cargoes. Cool, that's the tweet. So some brothers replied, and he goes, nah, Clint, you know I love it when you dunk on someone like that. They cooked Bro, him. the way they are cooking, they've been double, cooking him. Double, yeah. double, got, got 3,000, bro. bro this is, this is the best someone. reply. <laughs> I said, hey, Clint, I love the way you dunk on everybody. Love it, man. Uh, <laughs> that was, bro. But you're not so mad. That scene, he doesn't get, he gets dragged out of the car by Buck. Yeah, but um, can I just, can I just say a personal shout out to Buck, please? Because for me, Buck is always there when Kano is on, Sully is on smoke. I feel like that's what Buck's um, character is in Top Boy. Whenever Sully is out, uh, it's go time. That's when you see Buck. There's one scene where Buck goes in the yard and the youth's like, oh, I can't remember what the youth says, like, Wagwan or what you might say. Buck goes, shut up while you're asking man questions. <laughs> 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 hey, and there's a line in Top Boy that you're going to love in the last scene um, where Kano says, ah, oh, what does he say? He says something like, Basically, for like the world we're from, you're either monsters or you're food, and that can never be food. What? Oi, that is the coldest line Top Boy has ever dressed. It's two lines. It's not the coldest line. It's the coldest line. It's, coldest it's line. cold. But when you see the way he says it, yeah, and there's a part where I, I don't want to spoil I'm it. I'm telling you, the cold, the, the very cold lines. Of that scene with Bashi and Kano. Oh, but that's. I don't think that funny that scene is. What you still, you still, you still kind of about that. <laughs> That was five years ago. I don't care if it was a hundred years ago. I'm gonna have to eat that one there. <laughs> that, right. Yeah, but Sally, shout out Sally though. He need, he deserves a um a BAFTA. Obviously, once you lot have watched it, we can talk about it a bit more. But I still think my theory of Top Boy being a love story still stands. It's mainly about Sally and his love for the roads. I've been screaming it for about season two. So no, no, shout out the uh, listeners. You weren't really saying that shout before. Out the no, you said it was a love story. You didn't that, say was my, that was my. That was my. You said it was a love story between the road. You said it was a love story, and the way you made it seem is it could be a love story between Sully and the Shane, but not as in f- sexy, no. My thing like, was sexy love, as in like no, no. I think no love for the roads, both of them. But I think the Shane's more on a the Shane's more about my, peaceful, I'm making not, money vibe. Wait, yeah, so think, did think, he change and announce LGBT? Well. No, I'm saying, did you just go from the love story you were describing? So it's not an LG because from I never said it was that, but he was saying <laughs> no, that he was saying that that's how I, that's what I was alluding oh. to, and I was like, no, 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 it's a love for the, the love they have for the roads, but the Shane's um the way he's portrayed the way he's approached it, sorry, is more to do with let's make dough and find a way to get out and put things in place. So yes, I've made money from the roads, but now I'm not making money from the roads anymore. Whereas Siley's on a vibe of <laughs> big man. I'm on the roads, bro. And can't take violation. Can't take bad up. And he says another thing in the end. There's a two lines that he says where he basically says to Deshane, how do you think the problems that you had were getting solved? Like, yeah. you needed a man like me beside you, bro. 
Who? Sully said that. He see, yeah, he says, I can't remember what he says, but he says it basically like, you wouldn't have survived if it weren't for me. That's, and it goes the other way. You wouldn't have survived each other. No, 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 I know. But remember, Sully's the one that's um, craving Deshane's acceptance. It's not the other way around. Deshane's just doing his thing and then Sully's involved. Whereas Sully wants Deshane to rate him. That's why he does what he does. The, the, the same Bare times, the son, the he does. does he, doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't tell him. That's the issue. He doesn't tell him. But obviously, he rates the badness because every time, remember, it's always Sully that's in trouble and the Shane goes and gets him out. Yeah. 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 But he, he doesn't think how he gets him out. He just gets him out. It's just he's, as you're riding. But it might be peas, it might be smoke. That's, that's Whereas the Shane don't want that. The Shane doesn't want the smoke. He wants just the peas. Yeah. But Sully's saying, big man, how do you think you're getting the peas? I'm, I'm handling the smoke. Mm. Yeah, so obviously he felt violated with Jamie. Like, this guy shot at me, you know? And now we're using him for your get-out card. You're crazy. That's why he said, nah, he's got to go. For you, man, that have you've seen the new season? No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Oh, you've seen it. I've not seen it either. But I saw the general consensus, or should I say? Well, Everyone's vexing it. I say, from what I saw from a lot of people, and maybe you can kind of clear it up, is a lot of people saying he was terrible writing this season. It was rushed. Some people were saying the actors kept it together. They were like, if, it were not, if not for great acting, it might have been... It was rushed because I think, remember, last season they went to Spain, they went to Morocco, they went to Jamaica, they did London. This, they just done it on location. So the budget is... De- it, whether they tell me or not, the budget is definitely lower. You can see that. So these men might cost more now. I don't know. Certain, there's certain, we've heard certain things of like people not being happy with certain things. So I can't pinpoint it to something particular, but it definitely felt rushed, 100%. But... The actors did a good job in whatever they were supposed to do. They get they did a good job in delivering that. And for me, Kano's performance was amazing. The Shane as well. Do you know what it's about the Shane? Because Ashley Waters is such a good actor. Some people can maybe think he he didn't do well because he's not acting. He's just being him. Not that he's just being him, but it's just like because the Shane's character is very chilled and very like. Got it together all the time. So whereas Kano's character has a has a bit more to it. Kano's you know what I'm saying? It has range. So, so the, Sh- the Shane character's got range, but it's like the Shane is the Shane is it's weird. He's got emotion, but he's emotionless. Remember the time when he when he hit when he gets the phone call, and he just collapses in the calf. Collapses in the calf. Yeah. First actual season remember? Or the first Drake season. It has to be the first Drake. I think, I think I think he gets wrong and they tell him they got Kano. Or something. And he has to go get him out. But then he's in the calf or something happens and he's walking and then everyone catches him. He just drops. Oh, his chest? Yeah. Was like, it the chest one? I can't remember. What, I can't remember what it is. He just, he's walking and he gets a phone call and he just drops the phone and he's like, and as he's walking, he just drops and every man's like, yo, yo, you're good, good. And they grab him, like, whatever. But I'm saying like, you would only hear, you only see when he's vexed. I mean, you only see when he's vexed with certain things like him and Sully when they get into something. But you rarely see him get mad. Even when he's talking to the mad Liverpoolian guy in the calf, more times to Shane, like, Sully's different. Sully would most probably hit a man with something. Like, there and then, Sully's doing something to you. Yeah, but I don't think the Shane's on violence like that. That's why. The Shane is on violence, but it's but for to Shane, that's his last resort. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. So I'm saying he's on violence, as in, like, or he'll be on violence. He doesn't want you to know he's on violence. So he can catch you and you're not un, and you're unaware. Whereas mm. Sully will tell you, I'm coming for you. Yeah. Watch, wait for me. So I'm saying that's they're, they're very different. Like um, even when he goes to the thing, <laughs> he goes to the gym to see them, man. He's like, "Yo, so and so, that's family." So let's just leave it there. And then my man's getting rude, and he's going, "San, San, yeah, well, I'm on fire with Christmas." <laughs> I go drop the food off. We can all be happy. We can all smile. We can, no, we can all go home happy. And he smiles. Then when the brother moves, he hits it with the weight. And he's like, "What happened to this brother? <laughs> what happened to this brother? Hey, t- 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 what your brother? You know, listen." <laughs> I'm going to leave, bro, bro. I've told you what it is. It's done. I'm like, brother, do you think you're going to whack a man with a weight? No, but I like the way he, he goes in the room and he demands that I respect. hear that, but, it, but, it, but what happened to him after? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. He's so in love with the roads and he, he can't take disrespect. He can't take it. From, in season three, you see it. But from every show we've seen or just real life stories, you can tell that them man that crave the respect always do too much and it always fucks them up. Yeah. Look at um, The Wire. Not sure how much of The Wire you've watched. Marlo, remember for Marlo, it was all of, all about respect. Because remember, he's talking about my man saying whatever about him, but he's found out that man ain't said nothing to him, and he's like, "My name is my name." You better go, go in them, go in the street, and let them know 
It ain't get to me. Mm. I didn't know that. For him, it was all about disrespect. Because if you if you remember the wire, it got to a point where Marlo was killing niggas just because. Yeah, so letting people know. You know what I mean? Just literally, just because. Like, it was an ego trip. For him, it was all about respect and power and all of those things where, for him, he had to deal with the situation now. Whereas, if you look at um, Barksdale, he was more about... He was He was slightly different. For him, it was respect and the code, essentially. He had a love for the game. Because there's a part, yeah, where him and um, Idris, what's the character Idris plays again? Stringer, bro. Stringer. Where they're talking and he's saying to Stringer, you know what I mean? You know, that business shit that you do, this ain't it. Yeah, yeah, telling yeah, them, yeah, remember yeah. that part? Yeah, this, yeah. Ain't, this ain't that. You know what I mean? This is that street shit. Because he, um, Stringer Bell fucked up something. Yes. Yeah. It's, you know, with Brother Muzon. Remember, where he's where he's gone to ask Brother Muzon who, if he knows who shot him. They showed his hand. You know, but but he but remember, um, Boxdale doesn't at this point. Boxdale doesn't know that it was Stringer that set up Muzon. Yeah, but also um, Boxdale was on the vibe of you don't ask a man that question. You, you don't ask a man like that. Yeah. Like, you don't ask a man like that. No question. You just showed your hand. Yeah, a man said you need us to deal with it for you. Just let us know. It's like what? You, are you asking a man like that? That kind of question. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. for him, it was like not even like showed your hand. It's just like you're asking him, like brother. That's mad. Like. On some street code shit. Mm. You don't ask him none of that. It's like if he wants to tell you, he will tell you. But you don't ask him nothing like that. You see what I mean? Like nothing. No, but I took that as the fact that you asked him, you showed your hand. Yeah, but that's because you're looking, you're thinking of it from the perspective of he knows what Stringer's done. Oh, at that time he didn't know. No, Boxdale. Uh, so bear in mind, Boxdale don't no, know. No, Muzone. No, Muzone don't know. Oh, you don't but know. Remember, Boxdale doesn't either. Yeah, yeah, you get it. Yeah, yeah. So literally, he so Stringer that Boxdale doesn't know what Stringer's tried to do. Mm. You get it. So he's talking at it, looking at it from a perspective of like, what is that? Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's mad disrespectful for you to speak to a, a real nigga like that in that way. He's gonna be mad offended, but because he lives by those rules, and Stringer has, you know, what I mean, this whole business shit, you know, this manipulation shit that he wants to do. Because even when um, they shot at Omar, and he and he's nan. Coming from church. Well, mm. I'm not sure if they were coming from church or they were going to church. But remember, the rules are you do not, there's a parlay on Sundays, and if a man's with his family, mm. you leave him alone. And then man shot at, you know what I mean? And Stringer saying, yo, they had eyes on him. And he was like, no, now the streets is out here saying we shot his granny in a hat shit, <laughs> in a church hat and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So for him, that's like, yo, you're violating. So, what's his, so what was Stringer's like code? Stringer had no code. That's all it was. Stringer would do whatever it took. You get it. Stringer mm. would, there's, think about it. There's nothing Stringer wouldn't do. Remember, he was smashing my man's BMs when he was in jail or whatever, doing all of that. Then he had my man, whatever. And so Stringer had no code. Stringer would sell you out. Mm. So, you know what I mean? I think that's how Sully saw the shade in a sense of, not that you don't have a code, but what part of the code do you have a you that I'm telling you is a op working for you? And you're telling me it's because he's got a, a pipeline that's going to get you out of the hood. Bro, he shot at me, bro. Like, I don't understand. Why are we even discussing it? I just told you what the youth's done. And you know you want me to be Paddy Paddy with This you? is why you need to watch Boardwalk Empire, yeah? Because there's so many different characters and so many different personalities, yeah? Where it's based, I told you, on Al Capone, Joe Mazzaria, like so many different actual real-life gangsters that are in this show across. And you see the way they do things, right? And you, you can see how it affects their business in terms of where Al Capone is a hothead. You know what I mean? So he'll do stuff that then bleeds out. You know what I mean? Mm. Where he'll do A, just literally because he's a hothead, because he don't like disrespect. You know, there's another guy. Uh, what was his name? I forgot this dude's name. He got disrespected, bro, and he held the whole town hostage. Mm. You know what I mean? And he's not letting nobody pass with their, you know what I mean, with their liquor deliveries, you know, because this is the times of prohibition where America had a ban on alcohol. So it's basically based on bootlegging liquor. Mm. So he's not letting nobody. And you know, sometimes when I call Brent Dr. Narcisse, so Dr. Na Dr. Narcisse, he's a he's a black guy in it. And him and Chalky White, um, Michael K. Williams, Michael K. Williams? He, so Michael K. Williams is Chalky White. And Michael K. Williams, Omar from... Yeah, Michael. so he's in this as Chalky White. And Dr. Narcisse is, you know, he's another black brother. And the way they go head to head, but their personalities are so different because Omar is very country. And Dr. Narcisse is an educated black man. You know what I mean? 
you know, back think of the 1920s, you know what I mean? Very well spoken. And he looks as, at Omar at, um, Chalky as dirt, essentially. He's like, you're just a coon playing boss, essentially. Like the way they look at each other. And then they have this riff between them, this beef. That so it's a show between them two? Nah, it's just... Oh, it's but, and that's the beauty of it because there's so many different characters. So I'm going to start it tonight. No, nah, I'm telling you, Boardwalk Empire is a great show, bro. For me, my top five would be in no particular order. Game of, Game of Thrones, um, The Sopranos, The Wire, Boardwalk Empire, and... Gonna throw a ring in there. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. The fifth one. Yeah. So for me, those shows in no particular order, Just Call Saul was probably top 10 for me. But those five, when I say um, Boardwalk Empire is worth watching, like a show that's very well written, it's produced by Martin Scorsese. What did you, you watch on? Uh, it, it's an HBO show, but I'll send you a link to the website where you can watch it, where I watch it from. Mm. It's, you know, it's, <clears> when I say it's a proper, like a proper good no, show, I think, good um, character, de- no, good character development, and it develops very well. I think Matthew and Ashley have um, suggested it still, but sometimes for me, if I can't access it easily, it just becomes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm telling you, that and The Sopranos, you, I know you've not watched The Sopranos, those no, two I've jokes, but I'm telling you, Anton, I kept telling Anton about The Sopranos, it took him forever. He just started watching it, I think, about a month or so ago. Literally, now every single time we talk, you know what I mean? It's what's happening in The Sopranos. Because yeah. those are very good shows with great character development. And I feel like nowadays, we don't have shows that are that well written. You know a show where you can say, I can watch six seasons? Most things now, you get to season three, you're like, I couldn't do another two seasons. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this whole writing thing, man. It's like even in Next new- year, there's going to be nothing to watch. Yeah, even a new Black Mirror. Like, there's nothing next year there's going to be nothing to watch because they've not been writing yeah some movie got pushed back and this is something like our oh, release 2026 or something I'm yeah, like the writer's strike. remember the last writer's strike this is what fucked up Heroes because Heroes was banging and then it went oh, downhill oh it was that the last season of the Heroes was hot oh, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of things that's going to be oh. yeah because think about it a lot of shows are just going to go Heroes, that's what yeah, fucked up well, heroes. I might as well start watching the old shows then. Yeah, I'm well. telling you, bro. Um, Boardwalk Empire and Boardwalk Empire and um, The Sopranos. Those two shows, like great character development. And I like shows where there's multiple personalities of people. You know what I mean? Do you know what I'm even looking forward to as well? Um, the Return of the Boys. Yes, there's a new spinoff. Of yeah, um, Gen, Gen, Gen V. Gen V. There's a spin-off of that. Um, I just think that's just, I don't think the story writing is going to be as sick as the boys, but I do think it's going to be very graphic. You know, you're just going to see their mad scenes. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, they're known for that. Like, that scene with my the um the orgasm episode. I watched it again the other day because I was trying to show someone how mad the episode was. Bro, even I, from bro, even from episode one, when he mashes up my man. What are you saying? The the the, the burger wasn't sitting right. Nobody go in the bathroom for the next 45, 45. I said 35, 45 minutes. Um, <laughs> oh, the see where he mashes him up on the on the on the road. The first thing where he runs through the chip. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Even just from that, bro, you're like, oh, it's that kind of show. Brother, when I first saw that scene, I said, what am I? I think I turned it off and I started it again another time. I was like, what's this? Yeah. Where's this going, bro? It's so outlandish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you yeah, seen oh. the Sopranos, Mark? Yeah, some of it. This guy ain't seen nothing, man. Oz, you must have seen Oz. So you don't finish Oz. But you ain't seen nothing. Bro. You've seen Oz. No, nah, like nah. I've heard of the character with, you, bro, with, you with the hat need, winging on the side. You need to nah, watch these shows, it. bro. These nah, are... but I swear it was like... Um... Oz is a good show still. Yeah. No, but I just heard it's just uh, gel man doing the madness. Nah. Yeah, but there's, bare, there's bare different stories. There's like the racist lot in there. There's the Nation of Islam brother in there. It's very different. It's 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 it's, bit, it's like prison. It's like uh, the old version of Prison Break. Yeah. And then Prison Break had bare different stories in it. Yeah. But Prison Break, I just couldn't get with it because when man went back into jail, I said, this "Bro, is it's like your bucket." Yeah. No, Oz is a great show. Again, I like different storylines, different different characters where they develop on those characters where you could get attached to someone and it changes. And what I like, Prison Break is another one that was good because. Um... The arc of the, the, the character arc. arc. Yeah, the arc of Teabag was mad. Because at some hey, point... yo. Nah, because at some point you didn't like him. And at some point you actually find yourself warming to him in a weird way. But you know what my man went jail for. That's yeah. that Sully though. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you, know what I mean? you know what my man went jail for. But you warmed to him because he's helping the other lot. But he was still like slimy kind of thing. But it's, it's, 
It's it's mad how shows can do that to you. So when you watch the of what you watched of the Wire, who's your favorite character? I had a few. I like Omar. Omar was because Omar was because, because Omar was Omar in it. Um, and he was the bro, like he was just so sinister with it. I, I liked um, just chilling out there with his boyfriends. Like I, he always had his boyfriends with him. I liked Avon. Oh, still. Yeah, I like Avon. Definitely the most honourable of them all. Yeah. Um, Cheese was a piece of shit. I liked, uh, what's his name? So I liked, you didn't like Snoop? I, I, I liked Minority. You didn't like yeah. Snoop? Nah. <laughs> Snoop and Chris. Who else is there? There was one more person that I liked. Chris, on Chris. There. I like Chris because... Chris, Chris. Chris. Chris well, Snoop and Snoop. Chris. Black guy. The one that was... And the one that um, when... What's his name? He tried to give him money. He was like, "No, nah, I'm good, man." When there's when, too many scenes. No, nah, there's one. T- there's a scene where. What's his name? Um, my name is my name. What's his name again? Marlo. Mm-hmm. Marlo was on across the road, and all the kids on the corner, and they gave them all money. Oh uh, no, no, you're thinking and, of Mike, and, and he, they uh, brought him on board. The young kid, and he was like, "No, nah, I don't want the money." No, no. So I like Mike. He used he started rolling with Chris and Snoop because remember they trained him. Yeah, and I he like, started rolling with them. I think his name was Mike or something. The kid, and they. Mm-hmm. Could, I, I liked him because he kind of. Yeah, I liked him still. Yeah. When, when you're the one that killed um the girl in the car. Yeah, yeah. But no spoilers, no. Don't say who, but yes, he's the one who did that. What from 1994? When hey, I when I did people to watch the good shows. Like, when, I, when I did, man, you I did. You bro. tried to do it from Top Boy now, blood. Nah, man. Is it so? What's the window? After two weeks, after a month, something dropped. Uh, in. I, I feel like 15 years is. <laughs> <laughs> is no, good mean, enough. But you know, I talked to one of my friends about the whole writer strike thing, and she was saying that what's changed TV is Netflix has changed TV because of the contracts they hand out and because of the deals they hand out because they're the monopoly right now. Like, are, are the contracts bad, good, different? They're just different. So I don't want to paraphrase too much. I should have rang her, but it might have been, her voice might have been bait. But she was telling me things like, for example, if there's a show, yeah, on BBC One, you know that Friends or Frasier, once a show hits 100 episodes... Goes into syndication. Yeah, and the contract changes. So technically, that right, the writers of that show don't have to work again because that show is going to... Whatever network it started on, it's going to be on that network and then it's going to be bought by... It can be on CBS, Paramount, Netflix. It can go anywhere. And it can make money. And, it can, and it'll keep making money. So the writers of that show will keep getting a new check, new check, new check. Whereas Netflix, none of their shows hit 100 episodes. That's one thing they do. So that writer, don't worry about it. <laughs> you, whatever we're paying you, that's what you're going to get. You ain't going to get more. Is that. Um, also, a lot of people would rather go to Netflix because Netflix are worldwide. If they go to BBC One, for example, or Channel 4, it's not worldwide, that's here. So your program is going to have a certain, though you might get money, it's going to have a certain reach. Netflix can pay more money than those shows, but you kind of, I think you sign your IP away as well. With the shows? With your shows as well. So it happened, you know what you just described? It happened to Charlie Sheen with, remember he left Two and a Half Men? Yeah. When they had, and then he started the other show, um, Anger Management. Yeah. So he did that. And I think he took less money for that show because he, he was chasing the whole syndication thing where it gets to 100, 100 episodes and then... It's about it's about. It got cancelled. So, you know what I mean? I don't think the show made it to 100. where they were supposed to get to and that proper, proper ruined it. I'm going to find it and I'm going to send, send and, it to you And guys. apparently what normally happens is when you're making a show, like, for example, if, if Keith wants to make a show and you want to make a show, BBC, Channel 4, or whoever it is, they'll give you a budget. So they'll say, all right, how much is this show? worth, you might say it costs about 300 bags. They say, all right, cool. Here's 300 bags. Bring us back something. So now, whatever you do in that money, you can do whatever you want with that money. You can, I'm not saying pocket, but you can pocket 150 bags, spend 150. Do you got to deliver a show? As long as you, you just got to deliver the show. Well, I think with Netflix, she was saying that it's different, that they're not giving you that much up front because they're working with you on this show. So even if you have writers, Netflix writers is coming on the show. Like, it's, it's you're doing it in yeah. conjunction with Netflix mm. as opposed to you bring us a product and see if we like it. So from the beginning, Netflix already are like, we're involved in this product. Did they take a heavy um, 
Or do they get heavy funding in order to fund this? It's their money. Money from subscribers. Yeah, but yeah, there's no ads. Yeah, they've got yeah they've got money. They, remember, Netflix has got money. But the thing is, the, the thing is with Netflix, Netflix has not been an overnight thing. They've been here for, since Blockbuster. Yeah, I know, but is it going to last though? Because is this not what Prime is doing and Disney and? But I don't think they care. Who Netflix? No, um, Prime and Disney don't care enough. Oh, so eventually you'll balance out. And Netflix will be at the top. Netflix are at the top. No, no, there was a period where it was a bit they lost. Nah, bro, Netflix at the top, bro. Like oh, they're, okay. they're they're dominating in terms of that's why people is it's kind of like Spotify with podcasting. Spotify dominating, but the difference is Apple don't care. If Apple would just say aggressively, I think Apple, I think Apple didn't care because they just thought this is not going to make money. No, it's like like that. you don't think it is. No, do you know what is Apple? Remember when you look at Amazon and Apple, their models are different. Amazon they got into streaming, but it wasn't their main thing. You know what I'm saying um, Apple got into streaming, it wasn't their main thing. Apple is remember they made a trillion off a trillion of AirPods. That's what I'm saying. They don't give a shit about podcasts. That's what, that's what I'm saying. So, but, but if Spotify but, but, made it make sense, but, Apple would have knocked the doors be. But, but, no, but I'm saying in terms of if Apple one day were to say, do you know what? Spotify can't keep up with Apple. The money, the money, that's what I'm saying. And same for Amazon and Netflix. If Amazon was to turn the heat up and say, yo, it's mad, but the difference is I don't think they care enough because mm. for them, it's just one of no, the branches. Also, it's it's one of the got, branches on their tree. No, but it's my, the thing, Netflix is their main branch. Yeah, but my point is Netflix did it and it didn't work. So that's why the other two are probably that. Like, I'm not doing it. If Netflix okay. did it and it worked. Netflix is working, bro. So, okay, Marvin. No, so, stop Spotify, sorry. Marvin is right. So, and Marvin's right, but Taser's right in that it's the, the gap is thinning for Netflix. So, Netflix has 232 million subscribers, yeah, mm-hmm. on Netflix. Yeah. Amazon Prime has 200 million. They are just 32 million. Yeah, but yeah, but remember, you but you remember you got to look at it like this, but those Amazon sub, um, Prime subscribers, they're not pure subscribers. Because if, if you get Prime tomorrow, you get Netflix Prime anyway. No, they don't do that anymore. So you see, if you have Prime... Yeah, I got, I got that now. Yeah, if you have Prime, you yeah. still pay for Prime Video. It's the same for me. So Amazon Prime is $8.99. Yeah. Prime Video is, I think, $6.99. So it's two separate payments now. Check it. Oh, when shit. they started, so that's how they got... You need to check people. So you probably been paying an people. extra seven quid, you know, this whole time. The reason why Disney were sick at doing it is because Disney were like, no, they're, they're buying no, but they're buying houses. So Disney will buy will buy like a Marvel, no. and every single and Marvel movie is now. Yeah, back. but Disney, Hollywood, Disney. The reason why Disney effed up is because of COVID. Because of COVID, they panicked, so they threw a lot of their like low key, um, yeah, low key, One Division, Captain America, and uh, Winter Soldier. They just threw everything on that platform because cinemas closed down. So. I don't think I think Disney weren't actually ready to do their platform, but, but they had to. Yeah, but, that's, be. but that's why so I, I said it, because of that, the market wasn't done properly. But that's why I said that eventually it'll balance out. Like when they realize what's stuck and what hasn't, like what Spotify's done with podcasting. But Marvel's not the same anymore. No, but they've got new characters coming. I know, but it's not the same anymore. It's Remember? not for us though. It, I, I'm a Marvel, Marvel fan. No, but you got someone was was it you that was explaining to me the other day that what or someone else? So it was you. That basically, the Marvel that we grew up on, that's for us. We've grown up with it for the last 15 and 20 years. Now Mia needs to create her own relationship with these new characters. And then she'll follow it up to her 30s. But, but I feel like they're not developing the they're characters not, yeah, the way they did it for us. Yeah, no, no, if you, you look at, think of, you're right in saying that was our time. Because if you think of the first Iron Man, yeah? Because I feel like that's where this world started. From the first Iron Man to the last Avengers film or whatever. I feel like that was that was thought out. Yeah. If you think about it Everyone, can, every, everyone was on it everything. Everyone And you can tell that Once we got into this side The last couple of characters They tried to rush Gosh. Where they tried to squeeze Stuff in But you can tell like Up until a certain point They had a plan And that plan isn't Working anymore Yeah but But also you got to Take into consideration That this new generation If they're If they're really telling us That TikTok is where they want Then that's the kind of No no, that, no Like that's the kind of Content they want to consume. They want to consume the new eight, the new it gen. Doesn't work like that. The old, gen, it, it does though. It doesn't because that's what do you di- mean? The youth, that, the youth dictate what we're no, looking no, at. No, it's not. That's different because that's you on. The, remember, you you can't have different mediums have different modules. You can't talk about cinema and talk about TikTok. It's not no, the same thing, I'm, bro. Uh, no, I'm saying if that we we didn't have TikTok when we were. Um, yes, but TikTok coming all, up. all TikTok would do is show you adverts. Of no, no, this no. Film, you're, you're missing but, my you're missing my point. I'm not talking about what's posted on TikTok. He's I'm just talking about the, the way the span. yeah the attention span and the consumer of TikTok this rising app they are these people who consume content this way 
So the, we now need very, to stop producing so we need content. to now stop producing content like this so we can have those TikTok moments in these movies and go viral. Is what I'm saying. That's is that music, for example. And look, yeah. look, look at the music how, from back how, in the how day. How are you gonna have TikTok moments that go viral until that film comes out properly? No, but no, no, at, that's no, what you no, mean. But look so. at the music, for example. So back mm. in the day, they used to be like eight minute songs, for example, and Kanye would figure out a way to make that you listen to eight minutes. Now they're literally giving us two minute songs because of TikTok. I hear you, but most songs were eight minutes. And most I'm songs not saying most like songs three and a half look, minutes, four minutes. But even like, yeah, I, but even what I'm so saying is the projects now, because w- just to follow on from your point, a lot of artists don't even make albums like that anymore. Yeah, Simply they make it for because, streams. You know, and most of them is just song, 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 but, but song, then, then, because but, the, consu- the way people consume shit has changed. Exactly, but then some people will give you a bigger album because you're going to stream, stream it more. It depends on your your, your tactic. Yeah. yeah, but it also Drake, depends on your de- market. I definitely say Taser's like, right. Like, like Drake will bring out an album, for example. I'm not saying, obviously Drake's Drake, but um, people bring out an album and you're going to stream it. That's why man will have four, four songs in the top, Billboard 100 because back in the day that but it's limited ha- though. I know but back in the day that wouldn't happen you'd have whatever single you release is what goes on the Billboard but it's a struggle N- now a man will bring a, an album and then five of your songs in the Billboard top 100 because you, a, people are streaming it all at the same time it's a mean? struggle now because a lot of hip hop artists don't even make it onto you know what I mean Doja Cat's the first uh, in a while to hit the top 10 yeah because they're bringing that garbage in 2023 yeah. bro because they've they've changed Taser's right in saying, and it's crazy because I feel like people's, you know, the amount of time people spend on devices has gone up dramatically, but people's attention span has reduced. So people have, people could probably spend all day on their phone, but they cannot watch something that's more than a few seconds long. Mm. You know what I mean? So now when you create movies, when you create TV shows, it's much harder to create something that people can concentrate on. If you think of TV shows before, I was even going back to watching... um, I forgot what show it was I was watching the other day that I rewatched, but it was 21 episodes in the season. They don't make 21 episode shows yes. anymore. 21 episodes. You know what I mean? Could you imagine if, if Top Boy was 21 episodes? They ain't got time for that. Even thing, look at um I so saw you spoke about the other day, the scene in Heat between Robert De Niro and Al Al Pacino. Yeah. Them long scenes like it's like a monologue, but they don't do that in movies no more. That's it still do. depends on the film. Yeah, but it's got to be top, like, I, I Chris, like, Christopher Nolan movie. Yeah, but I think it depends. That's what I'm saying. I feel like it depends on the movie. And the problem with Marvel is they, when they first brought out Marvel, there wasn't this ticking time bomb yeah. in terms of... Just Mar- need to get shit Marvel was just Marvel. Like, DC still had the monopoly. D- Marvel was trying to come into that space. So what happened is Marvel's arc worked so well and it captured, like, so many people just became Marvel fans. DC kind of got pushed back that now Marvel's at this stage where, as Keith says, after Infinity War, where, I can't remember which one it was, when Iron Man dies, yeah? Like, it's kind of like, they're like, they've looked back and like, shit, we've done a lot, you know? Like, we smashed it. But now, they haven't got the time that they had before to bring out whatever films and create this arc. Yeah, so what Marvel's so, saying, so they should have thought about it from long Yeah, time. but now they're doing that. So now all the characters are bringing out, like, the tw- Four Rings... Um, just random people this, popping random out of people, And it's like This is not this, There's no arc here anymore It's just You're just bringing out films It's just like if they for randomly that, Either for diversity Or for inclusion I'm not saying it's a bad thing But in terms of the whole storyline You're it's not up following a storyline anymore You're just throwing stuff out now And hoping it sticks If it doesn't right, Another film comes out well, I think out. eventually There will be a storyline There must be No, Because nah. Kang, Kang Kang was one of the Focal points, but we didn't. But it's new art. No, people are not. What I'm trying to say is, remember back in the day when Iron Man One came out, it was Iron Man Two, Three, Four. But in the middle of Iron Man coming out, or Captain America come out, that will link you to Iron Man somehow. Yeah, but that's what and, I'm and, and it was linking. Then, it, but it was linked to Avengers. But you could still watch these movies separately. So, yeah, but they've, no, but they've but just, what I'm just, no, saying to you is, just but, started the art. No, though. but I'm saying, but that's what I'm saying. But a lot of these films now that they're bringing out, a lot of people are not watching them anymore. It's not this. There's the anticipation not there anymore because they, they, a lot of these films they're not good films. Like, you know, like back in the day... We I think we've got to give them time. they just come out. These, no, ca- these characters are just coming out. No, but, yeah, but oh, they didn't introduce them the way films, they did. They're, they're not ter- good films, yeah, Terrible films. And I feel like, let's look at Iron Man. Before Iron Man was in the Avengers and all of these things, we built a long-standing We built a rapport with Iron Man. You know what I mean? Like, movie we, off we movie. We understood his character. Thor, we understood him. We understood same Thor. Thing. Captain a, America. We understood no, but, all of them no, no, separately. No, no, yeah, but and then when they came together, it was mad. Yeah, but what character have they dropped now that you're saying that... Look, do you know, I'll give you an example of a character they they rushed... Captain, what's the woman? Captain Marvel. Bro, remember, they wanted her in the Avengers film. 
So they had to rush the release of her film, which I think was a garbage film, just to get her in the, in the Avengers series. And, and even then, remember, she disappeared for like 90% of the yeah. film and she came back. I and, felt and like that And then she got rushed. a series on Disney as well. And do you know how strong she is? Yeah, and that's why it's just like... Do you know how strong she is? Yeah, she, that's why she's she like there. she's not that little man. You yeah, know? but I think that's why she wasn't in it though. Because if she was in it, it's difficult to write. It, it's the, the Infinity War's not lasting long. Alright, cool. But what I'm asking is the Iron Man's, the Thor's, the Hulk's, the, the of Captain the new arc, the Captain America, the new arc. They haven't given us those movies yet. Yeah, they're, but they're, they're bringing them. Yeah, no, but it's, it's, the stuff they have given us is not just good. Garbage. I remember as well. If you're the same way, like for example, if you're like a Batman or Superman fan. So because you're giving me Superman doesn't mean I should re- accept it. No, 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 I'm just saying... It's not a good Superman. No, 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 I'm saying... I'm not the, saying it is, but I'm just saying... It's like, cool, but I'm saying the new characters haven't been introduced yet, is what I'm saying. Do you know what it is? It's like Top Boy, for example. It's like Top Boy Series 1, Series 2, yeah? And you're in love with Sully's character, Deshane's character, you're in love with uh, Michael Wall's character, for example, and then they kill all those characters, but then they're giving you, like, Summer House, and they're giving you, like, Michael Wall's brother... You give me other people. I'm not saying they're bad characters, but it's like... We don't you, want this. I don't want this. I don't want these, Lord. <laughs> I want them man there. Yeah. But, but, want them and, man there. And, but you're rushing mm-hmm. the next series and trying to push these man on us. We're like, no, bro, we've grown up with Sully and Deshane. If there's not another Sully and Deshane from another timeline, we don't want it. Do you know, to speak and, on... And, and I think that's what's happening with Marvel now. Like, for example, you can't... So, if you can't compare Iron Man... Iron Man, Captain, you can't compare the Captain America, the Iron Man, for all those people with the Four Rings. That's well, who's Four Rings? Um, the Shang, Shang-Chi. The, come on, man. Terrible. Yo, God, on, brother, I'm not saying that you... The funny thing, the film's in here, but you can't compare it. Like, and there's just no... Cap, right, there's no I, I, development. I, 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 right, and, 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 and even Black Panther, the, the last one, garbage. Right, look, the look, first look. one was garbage. All right, cool. So, all right, so Marvel so. Cinematic Universe Phase 4. This is the timeline. Mm-hmm. So it started in 2014. And it's going to end in 20, 2025. Yeah? Okay. So, so that's the... we're in the middle then? Yeah, we're still here. We're still here. Well, so, so, is, this, is this one you... Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. So this is phase four. Okay. And so it's phases. So Iron Man, Northern Man was phase three. This is phase four. So they've slowly been introducing us. It can't be phase four if it's 2000 and what? 14. But I'm going to tell you the movies that were part of the stories that's coming out. So okay. maybe we're, we're confusing two different stories. I'm, okay. just, I'm, I'm just okay. saying. So the full timeline of phase four mm-hmm. is um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay. Civil War, mm-hmm. Black Widow, Garbage. Endgame, okay. One Division, Shang Chi, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Garbage. Eternals, <laughs> Garbage. Spider Man Far From Home, Spider Man No Way Home, Multiverse of Madness, Doctor Strange, Garbage. Garbage. Hawkeye, Garbage. Moon Knight, Garbage. Wakanda Forever, Garbage. She Hulk, Miss Go- Marvel, Garbage. Garbage. <laughs> Miss Marvel. Garbage. Love of Love and Thunder. And then the Guardians garbage. of the Galaxy. That's ga- hot garbage. garbage. Yeah. Then the Guardians of the Galaxy, the, the next one. See what I'm saying? Brother, so, so, there's so, nothing so, good in there. So, 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 so at the beginning of that, remember, if you think about, if that's phase four, if you think about phase three, phase three was a cold. madness. Phase three was cold. Phase three had you excited when the cinema came. You had people screaming in the cinema when shit happened. Yeah. And look at what they've done. And they've, they've tried to integrate. Think about Read all the new characters that have come out there, yeah, Tate. There's not one good new character in there. Let me do phase three. So phase three started in 1995 and and ended um, around now, yeah? Started with Captain Marvel. Wait, hold on. How can it end now? Because um, Endgame was the last for that phase. But you said... No, they're into, like, I guess no, they're interconnected. No, phase four. They're no, they're interconnected. Oh, because yeah. you, you said phase four was 2015 to 2025. Yeah, because of the characters. They overlap. So how can this one be 1995 to now? 2024. Oh. Because Iron Man is in the last Spider-Man. I hear you, but then this timeline is... the sec- Phase 4 is 10 years. Phase, no, phase 4 hasn't finished. Phase 3 is... Yeah, but Phase 4 is got two years. Yeah, because of the character. It, it depends on when they just Because remember, movie. some of the characters from Phase 3 were in... No, yeah, I hear you, but, it, but shouldn't the phases be the same amount of time? No, it's just the character. That's like, how they... Like, yeah, like phase 3 is 10 years. Phase 4 10 years, No. No, look, okay, look at the movies that are in phase three, for okay. example. But better other movies dropped at the same time, by the way. Okay. Um, Captain Marvel in 1995. And there was a big gap between 1996 and 2013. Captain Marvel in 1995? Yeah. That's what it says here. Captain Marvel? That's what it says here. It. Is it a cartoon? It might be. Let me see. There's a reference. Captain Marvel? Japanese thing. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. But it's part of it. Um, then 2020, 2014, mm. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Then 2015, Age of Ultron. 
2016, we got Civil War, Black Panther, Spider-Man Homecoming, Doctor Strange. All bad films. Bad. Yep. Good or bad? Bad as in good. No, oh, okay. Films, and yeah. the ones before that as well. Yeah. 2017, Ragnarok. Mm. 2018, Not Ant-Man it. and the Wasp bad. and Infinity War. But see, bad, bad, bad film. Then there was a gap because of COVID, 2019 to 2022. And in 2023, we got Endgame and Spider-Man Far From Home. So COVID probably extended some people's timelines as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, there's, there's true, gaps. true. Yeah. yeah, I just feel like in terms of the writing, it got to a point where Marvel were looking at it like, we need to get these films out, bro. So they, we need to pump out whatever we, need to we pump can. Out whatever we can. Even DC tried it now to catch up with Marvel. Because if you think of the Black Adam film, yeah, there was no introduction to none of the characters, bro. Mm. You know, remember there was Hawkman. <laughs> like, you yeah. know, random. Was- Atom Smasher. There's a doctor as well. Doctor Fate. Doctor Fate's bad though. Yeah, but like in I, this film, I, I, didn't, like, I didn't know that was a meme from time. You know what I mean when he's got that. Yeah. And <laughs> he goes up in the air. You've seen it. They've seen the meme. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Doctor Fate. You remember Sabak? You know, be the big demon in Sabak. Sabak. Oh, I thought that was Mr. Um, <laughs> um, producer. Sabak. <laughs> that's the way, That's why we were having the conversation. It was you I was talking to, man. Okay. Where I said, why did they make? Um, when I was talking to Gerald. Why did they make um, Adam Warlock in The Last Guardians of the Galaxy like a donut, like like dopey? Remember, he's played by um, the my man from got Hench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did they make him dopey? Did they make him dopey? Oh? Yes, they did. No. Yeah, he was always um, doing stuff for his mum, and his mum was always like, yeah, "Shut up, man, come here." Oh, I, did, well, I, I haven't actually seen the film. I feel how's man gonna argue? No, 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 because he's at the end of Eternals. Oh, um, Adam Warlock, the gold guy. Ah. They made him kind of dopey in Guardians yeah, of the Galaxy. Yeah, like, he, did, he didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, he's at the end of the things. I, I saw him. Just to make stuff humorous now, bro. But that's what I'm saying. It's because of the new gen. Yeah. That's the content that Thor, they want. Look at what they did with Thor. Because the Thor we first got and the Thor we have yeah. now yeah, are right. two different... No, but the thing is, no, but they played with him being... Play, um, playful. Playful. But now it's way too much. Because remember, him and... Um, well, borderline... I, him. Iron Man used to always... Him and Iron Man and him and Captain America always used to have a little Yeah, but the banter the is... But he was now, still a serious guy. Yeah. He, he was serious, but he used to banter a lot. But, but the banter is now, he's flirting yeah, with um, now it's Star-Lord. Just, now it's just... Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. There's one banter where he was flirting like he was going to lip Star-Lord, bro. Okay. Little things like, you're like, what is going on yeah. here? This ain't, this ain't the fault I know. Can, just to make the characters, you know what I mean, a little more playful and more palatable for the new gen, they had to change them up, bro. Like, example, time with our point as well, yeah. Seth Rogen wrote the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, did he? Yeah. Seth Their Rogen. people are onto him because of the way he's made the turtles. Like, they're not like on, on crud like they are. They're just very playful. And, and he's like, I think he said in a, in a podcast or an interview that he was like, this is how 13-year-old New Yorkers sound. Just because you you're, you're not aware of that doesn't mean that this is bad writing. If anything, go to New York and listen to the teenagers speak. This is how they'll speak. This is how they'll banter on yeah, the block. But you, know, but, you know, but you know the problem is, remember, I've got, 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 got to leave in a minute. Mm. The problem with, with us is um, we're the gen that remembers that. Yeah. Remember, our parents didn't grow up with turtles. So however turtles are portrayed, they didn't give a shit. Whereas we're the gen that grew up with turtles. We grew up with all this. So now we're older. We're looking... Remember, we can still watch these films. The kids are still watching it, but we remember it. So we're looking at it like, oh, then never didn't talk like that. But they've like, got to remake it for the new gen. I hear you, but then, but also, but you got to make it for the new gen, but why can't you remake it for everyone? Because technically, we're still going to watch it. We're still going to consume it. Because remember, it's, it's our gen. I think that's why Spider-Man is on the money. Because there's different versions of Spider-Man and everybody can relate to a Spider-Man. That's how they've kind of gone down that angle. The Spider-Girl, the Spider-Dog, Spider-Old Man, the Spider-Black Boy. Oh, I thought Black you were Boy. talking about the, the one where they brought all the different Spider-Mans in. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Not, not that one. Because the one where they brought all the different Spider-Mans, I, I can happily admit now that I was fooled into thinking that was a good film. Yeah, it's garbage. <laughs> what, the one with the, the dog and the girl? Home, and, no, 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 no. Homecoming. Homecoming. The one with Bear Spider-Man. Where the, the, the same Spider-Man. Tobey Maguire came no, back. No, no, I'm talking about... I know, Miles yeah, Morales. we know. We oh, thought you meant that one. That's oh, what no, I thought you were talking about that one. Oh, no, 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 one. No, no, that no. one was hot garbage. No, 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 no. Miles Morales is one. That's, that's the best thing, one I've seen. Another thing that I think... The second, second one. one. Second one, yeah. I think another thing they messed First up... First one was garbage. I think another thing they oh, messed garbage. up for me was um, the Hulk, where they made the Hulk too smart. You know where now we have Talking Hulk? Yeah. I don't like Talking Hulk. You like Smash Your Hulk? You see what I'm saying? Oh, so I feel like mm. this Hulk was for for this. We needed smashing Hulk. I want Hulk to come. Hey yo! I was gonna let you land. I was gonna let you land. I want Hulk to turn up, and my man don't know what's going on. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. When when the Hulk, can't... Jesus, 
When the Hulk turns up, yeah, <laughs> David Banner is like, no, 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 no. Because that's what it's supposed to be like. David yeah. Banner's like, nah, shit. We have to see Yo, him fighting. And you got to see him like... And he's telling people... You that's budget. He's telling people, leave, brother. Bro, because got, I'm about to... <laughs> they've got the Hulk in the shirt, bro. I'm about to rip it. Yeah, you got Hulk at the, 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 the diner the with the glasses, yo. I'm just kind of sign it all. That's, that's like, got a young feed. Yeah, like, what is that? But, no. to be, I've never been at the end of a, a Thanos rushing, so I don't know. Because <laughs> that's why I enjoyed. <laughs> they, they weren't that... Thanos changed my whole character, man. Bro, they that, were not good films. That yeah. rushing was nasty, Oh, where they mash him up. <laughs> it's the way he smacked up Loki. Remember when Hulk smacked Loki and then he got the hands. Remember he nah, Loki tried to stab him. No, it's in, and the, he was in like, the thingy. No, when he grabbed what? Loki and he smashed in, him on um, the floor. Uh, in the Iron Man's yard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, it was a puny god. Yeah, man. I feel like they really ruined the way the Hulk was supposed to be. So if you remember the first two Hulk films, I don't particularly think they were great films, but I enjoyed that Hulk, Yeah, if that makes sense. So they weren't the one with David, you know, Eric Banner in it, the Australian brother as the Hulk. I enjoyed that one. Did you enjoy the one with, um, is it... Um... What's his name again? Tim Roth. Edward, no, Edward Norton. He was Edward a good, Norton, oh, yeah. That, that, was a, that, was a good best, that was the best Hulk. Yeah. Well, the one where he gets stuck in the middle and, and they send, they send bare rifles, sorry, bare missiles. And he just... And, <laughs> and the foam, the smoke, expanded yeah. foam, yeah. And he kicks the man in the chest. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> the man tries to stand in front of him, he's like, what? But the best Hulk Bow! was... Um, the old school one in the 70s. No, no, but with the orange hair, looking like Blanca well, from Street Fighter. <laughs> Bad boy Hulk. Well, looking like Blanca from Street Fighter. And he had a straw hair. <laughs> Brother, that was the best Hulk, bro. That was the best Hulk, brother. Because when that... When no the, CGI, just steroids. Brother, no CGI. <laughs> no GCSE. No A-level. But that was the best Hulk, bro. No way. What? Because, no brother, way. that was this... Authentic. Real... Because the thing is, and the way that, like, the camera played, like... When camera he got trick. vexed, yeah? The camera was zooming on, man. You see, man? <laughs> my eye would just go like you'll say yes the whole thing yeah. and he'll just get hence you see then he had the same shorts yep. my man was warm <laughs> do you know do you know in um, that, that same Hulk here yeah, that you're talking about where they fired bare shots at him that's the real Hulk in that scene where he's the security man at the front of the university so when the Hulk comes in he's wearing the blue shirt and he's writing, and he's like, "Oh, oh that's the actual Hulk. That's the oh. that's the Hulk from the '70s." I like when they do that. Man. He's still hench, though. Still kind of. Mm. But I like, yeah, I like when they do that. That Hulk was that for me was a great Hulk. Like if you go through it, which now, one? Edward Norton Hulk, yeah. Edward Norton Hulk, yeah. With the one that's the one with Tim Roth as the villain, the baddie. Remember, he injects himself and he turns into Godzilla. Not okay. sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, why yeah. he turned into? You know, that's, the, that's the one he kicks in the chest. This thing was yeah. needy, man. And then he breaks all his bones. Remember, mm. he mashes him up. Or whatever. When he's coming up to him outside the university, he's talking. And he looks at him. He's like, "Do you know what villain got violated? Uh, into the my dream. man, my man from um, Ant Man. You know the op. He just becomes this weird, like, robot, um, bird type thing. Have you seen it? Have you seen the Guardians of the Galaxy? Who my man becomes? No. The new one? Yeah. No, I've not seen no, it. I watched a little bit. No, no, that's the I watched a little bit of Ant-Man where they remember they go into t- back in time or yeah, yeah, yeah. into the multiverse or whatever. I couldn't really get into that neither. If you could be any Avenger, who would you be? I like Thing, you know. Groot. So you would be Groot. What the? <laughs> Nigga, you'd be a tree that says I am Groot all the time. Have you seen when Groot's on smoke? Hold on, Groot can get killed. Groot easily, or baby right? Groot. Groot Groot or Baby Groot? That's Groot, bro. But you know... Baby, but there's Baby Groot. Brother. Rocket. To be fair, I'm lying. It's Rocket, man. But every single Avenger can kill Groot like that. It's Rocket, man. I like Rocket, man. The raccoon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like his, I so, like his demeanor. So, so if you could choose uh, all the Avengers... Ra- <laughs> <laughs> That's a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> so that one's a, wait, it's hold on. Nah, really, shoot, I'm joking. It'll be Fink, um, Deadpool. Yeah, it'll so be Deadpool. You're See, just wasting your thing, bro. How? He's on everything. What do you Deadpool. mean? Deadpool. He can't even die, though. He can't die. He can smoke all of he them. He can die, bro. He, he does look like a testicle. But he he he'll die. smoke all of them, bro. You know, you're not seeing my face. He, he only did that for TV. You don't see my face. He can die, bro. If I was Deadpool, I'm not taking off my mask. He's dead. His body with Deadpool, have you seen when his, huh? when his body parts are growing back? So <laughs> yeah. he doesn't... <laughs> yeah. He's got the little hat. <laughs> hey, you see Ryan Reynolds, yeah? He's cold. Yeah, when he's he does cold. that role... He's a cold actor, bro. We've spoken about it. Do you remember when... Do you remember the first Deadpool he played? Yeah, in thing in oh, X-Men. Bro, whoever designed that, you know, they had a team of people who designed that Deadpool and they thought this makes sense. Or well, the remember? one in X-Men. Yeah. And he's fighting at the end. It's not and, it's, and because he talks so much, they um, yeah. so his mouth shut. Not X-Men, Wolverine. Wolverine, yeah. Wolverine film. Yeah. Him, him and Sabretooth. Yeah, Sabretooth, I liked that. I like I like the way they did Sabretooth because I feel like CGI wasn't that outlandish back then. But Sabretooth was way bigger than that in the cartoon. Sabretooth yeah. was wham. 
Remember, anytime him and Wolverine see each other, it's smoke. <laughs> then, man, like, there'll be a fight going on over there. Like, and then as soon as they see each other, hey, buddy. <laughs> and, and then you just know it's smoke, <laughs> brother. <laughs> then, <laughs> but the slapping man with the claw. <laughs> hey, nah, those are the ones, you know. It's because I like the character. I like the guy who plays... Um, Play Saber too. It's a pity it, 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 plays Ray Donovan as well. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pity they didn't um, elaborate on Gambit, man. Gambit got that one little. Gambit that could have cool. been a great story, brother. What was Gambit? Is act- who's he again? The actor? Oh, I can't Don't remember. remember. Man, no, he's no. familiar though. I think he's in Clockwork Orange or some shit like that. We find who? Out. That film Clockwork, Clockwork Orange. Orange. I'm not seeing that. Ga- Gambit, like that whole the card deck thing, the man just Gambit was cool, man. In the cartoon, he was like. He was like Haitian or something, innit? Yeah. He used to kind of talk French and be like, oh, Mama ma, ma Z, like. Yeah. Ta- his name is Taylor Kish. Yeah, man, I don't know, man. man. Uh, did you watch Painkiller? No. You watch Painkiller? Mm-mm. Uh, on Netflix. Painkiller? Yeah, it's this thing about the opioid crisis in um, okay. America. Oh, I know who that is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So if, you, if you've not watched that TV show, it's an American football show, Friday Night Lights. Oh, no, it's an older show. Oh, no, you, man, watch bare TV, blood. I told you, mm-hmm. I can watch a lot of TV because I watch TV as background noise. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't... Mm. I let's, hear... let's, let's record the thing, though. Oh, shit, we got to hinge to it. Mm. Let's go to it. Yeah, buddy, but yeah. The end of the episode. <laughs> You're not going to let them know that we recorded a fucking episode. Uh, <laughs> one might work working. That's Brent, man. <laughs> Dr. Narcisse. And Keith responded. Brent was like, right, I've never seen you respond so quickly before. Keith was like, nah, but I'm pissed. <laughs> My brother, like, but if, if, if there's no mic working. I was like, what? Bro, you could have you could have told, man, like, <laughs> the two mics, the one in the middle. Because remember, Taylor could have just jumped on the mic and just got in the one in the middle, though. So, remember? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why he recorded the ad with the other mic. It's like, nigga. Because we could have had the fucking ad. <laughs> Play with the next man's mic. Pause. Yeah, buddy. I am fucking tired. (laughs) Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me. Back in. Do you remember that from Godfather 3? Oh, Godfather 3? Yeah. That's the one that most people don't like. Yeah. I think that was a, that was a drag one. That's so, mad. Man United, Anthony Sancho, unavailable selection. Oh, yeah, because they say he has to do his, all his training at home <laughs> with, his, with his dogs. Yeah. They're going to play my man, Palestri, or whatever his name is. Palestri, Ganacho, and Rashford. It could be a blessing in disguise, but one injury, they're toast, yeah, blood. Yeah, very toast. 85 million on Anthony, 22 million on Sancho. <laughs> you can't play them. Mental. United in the mud, bro. Because they ain't got they ain't got pee like that. Yeah, but because they ain't sold no one for profit. Mm. It's always, they always lose Pogba, they, you know they let go of Pogba for free? Fuck. He went and done what he done at Juventus. They bought him back for 110 M's. Fuck. Let him go again after one season for free. That one free. Sorry, a couple of seasons for free. Yeah. Well, free. Free. Well, they, didn't, they didn't get 110 for him. Yeah, because he's a contract on that. So they let him go for free. Back so to they Juventus. didn't get no money. No money, bro. And they spent money. But to be fair, the season that they did get him, he was a top goal scorer and top yeah, assist. And he, yeah, and he won the league. He won the Europa and... But then people didn't rate him, though. You, Mourinho. Drama with Mourinho. And... No, no, no. I think fans didn't rate him. But I just don't think they understood his ball. This brother's done what you... Yeah, what you've asked him to do. Smart whips, XL bullies, and vapes all banned in the space of a week. Tough times never last. Smart whips, what? Remember, smart whips, you know, yeah. it's basically a class C drug. What's like. the other thing? Uh, the dogs, the XO bullies. Oh, they're banned now? Yeah, I'm not sure. If, I think they're banned, yeah. I don't think they're banned because people have got them as dogs still. No, no, people have had them, but I think they're banning them. <laughs> Marv is dub. They banned them like today, bro. These dogs are get. they're going to start hunting these dogs. No, you can't because if it's in my house, you know, don't take my dog. It's, yeah. illegal, it's an illegal Basically, breed, yeah. you know? Okay, they're trying to ban them. They can't ban them, yeah. but... They haven't officially banned them, though. They're trying they to. They can, bro. They did that with pit bulls. Yeah, but that's different, though. And then you, you can't, you know what I mean? You can't, you can't get a pit bull now, but if I've got an XL bully, you can't tell me but about At some point, they, when they banned pit bulls, people had pit bulls, is what I'm saying. Eventually, it would die out, or they will, um, they will risk You have to stop breeding them and stuff like that, so... I'm not sure if they'll take people's... Yeah, on to people about them, though. Yeah, yeah. Even the girl that they got on the TV, you see the video where she's trying to tame the dog? 
and she leaves her hand hanging. And the dog bites her. Yeah, that's fine though. But well, she didn't. She didn't. She she said it herself. If I if I left my hand out any second longer, but my fingers would have been gone. The way this dog snapped here, yeah, but it was like a lapse in concentration. Yeah, like, but yeah, but the thing is, but by the end of the thing, the dog was fine because it's the, it's the owner. Remember the, the problem with dogs here yeah, is this: people don't realize that most people don't know how to look after dogs. But mm. some dogs are bred to be aggressive. So the problem then is, because most people can't look after dogs, certain dogs shouldn't be allowed around because, because of how powerful... Mm. Think of how powerful those no, dogs are. No, no, no. But the thing is, those dogs can be around you, but if you don't know how to manor a dog, you, you can't do it. Like, for example, even like the old people dogs, whatever, those dogs are aggressive, but they're always barking at man, always... Tr- but because they're small, you're not, you don't fear them. Yeah, and that's but the thing. But, but it's the same thing, because if that dog was bigger, there'll be an issue, right? The dogs, the dogs are exhibiting the same behavior, but the owner's allowing the dog to do that. So I'm saying, dogs shouldn't even bark at a turn. When you have, if you have a dog, it shouldn't bark and you tell it to bark. If it's barking, you haven't got under control, bro. And uh, if, it, if it's if if you if it pulls on your lead, you haven't got under control. Like, but the problem is because your dog maybe hasn't attacked anyone or done anything yet, it's cool. But generally speaking, there's things your dog shouldn't be doing, bro. Yeah, it's kind Pull, of like pulling on your thing, um, barking. So how do you train? People. Do you have to? Professionally train a dog. So some dogs, most dogs you have to train, but the problem with most people is they're slack with it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And the, so just this year alone, the EXO bullies have killed six people. That's a very high number. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, my thing is, I'm not saying the dogs are not bad, whatever, but at the end of the day, it's kind of like, if I've got a Range Rover and I'm speeding my, with my car, I'm going to do more damage. Yeah. People with d- dogs, you need to be mindful of your dog. Do you know what I'm saying? But people... Yeah, but it's clearly an issue. So what? Some people shouldn't have these dogs. Is what, yeah. what, what, so, what's so, the solution? So, so people shouldn't... Uh, even the same with Range some, Rovers. Some people shouldn't allow to yeah. drive cars on it. And then that's why put people on the driving <laughs> van. Because... So maybe do that. Then when people... Dog van? Nah, nah. See, those dogs... How do you police no, that, no. though? The problem... If, no, if, would... if you get fat, I'll put you on a van. You can't own a dog. Yeah, but that's my thing. With, with those dogs, Marvin, by the time you find out that it's a... You know, it's the situation with... The, it's too late. No, no, you're not going to say I'm, I get what you're saying, but at the end of the day, I just feel like same way a Dalmatian can attack you, a staff can attack you, any dog can attack you if it's not been raised right and it's been raised around certain environments. Because a lot of people want their dog to be, excuse me, not like guard dogs, but if something happens, their dog's on it. But the problem is, if you don't know how to control that dog properly, that switch that that dog has is not turned off. It's just on all the time. But you're holding your dog and because he's pulling at you, yeah, yeah, my dog's aggressive. Brother, you can't handle this dog because if this dog switches on someone or gets locked jaw, if, t- if that dog sees Taser and grabs his leg, grabs his leg, has a locked jaw, you can't do nothing to him because mm. he's, he yeah. sees black. But you want your dog to be like that if you need him to be. But the problem is... It's, it's inside your it's dog It's inside now. that dog now and it can happen with a little kid. A kid might hit his nose, dog sees red, kid's finished. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? But you've raised your dog to be like that as opposed to... So you should exercise more control. Exactly. So technically, although the dogs are aggressive, it's the owners. I know people with, um, what are they called again? PT bullies. What are they called? XL bullies. XL bullies, yeah. <laughs> and the, the dogs are loving, bro. Like, I know a girl's got XL bullies. The dog is always playing with people, always like wants you to um, rub it. Like, it's th- this dog has got no um, smoke in it. Until... Until and that's the thing. And then, yeah. All right, cool.